All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the really big tournament for week uh, four of the tournament. That's a boomer pop right there. We've got Keyboard Warriors versus Team uh, Mad Sad Bad, also known as Team MSB, and we are jumping right into it. The teammates are already going in. The smoke goes for a bullet, but it's immediately cleared. We've also got a hunter jumping up ahead, going after Nick, but gets nicely skeeted by Nock of uh, Team Keyboard Warriors, who are on the survivor side. It looks like the tank has now spun up in the hands of Ryan, I believe, of Team MSB. Uh, do we want to kick this over to a war room really fast? Do we have one? Oh my gosh. I guess we are. Not. Silly me, but looks like the tank is starting to move in. Nice boomer pop by Nock again. Uh, these are home and away games, I believe. Yes, are on they the are. NA server right now. So Team MSB are dealing with some pretty horrendous ping, but we're going to see what uh, Ryan can make happen with this tank. I think this tank mostly depends on how quickly he can get that first corner given that you know if he misses a punch or two it, it's usually not a wipe but that's just my experience yeah that quick corner is definitely really important uh also being able to get the infected in and getting you know some some meaningful caps is also useful but we're gonna see what's gonna happen they do have uh two guys with pistols and the guys with the guns have the melees or at least one of them does so they all have some range on them. the tank is gonna go Looks like the tank is grinding right in there. He gets a quick punch onto Nick, but he's got missed one punch on Ellis. Looks like he's going to get this corner finally. It's another punch. We've also got a Hunter on KO, but gets immediately cleared. The tank turns around and punches the Coach. Misses another punch on Coach. Very nice, nice juke there, but he does get a double punch. But that is it. That is all of the damage the tank managed to get. Not too much. No in-caps, unfortunately, but he did manage to waste at least one of uh, Keyboard Warriors' pills. Yeah, that's a pretty good take if you're Keyboard Warriors. You're always kind of worried on that early tank with, especially when you're playing against a team with high ping, that you're going to get long armed and you're going to get that that early wipe, which would be really bad. It absolutely would be. A wipe uh, this early on map one uh, is not the way you want to start it, especially not on your home server, but ZK did get a really nice juke on there. And, you know, other than that double punch towards the end, not a whole lot to speak up for that tank. Regardless, we do have the next hit. The death charge is ready. We've also got a smoker looking for a cheeky pull, but he does miss the song. It's going to let the survivors push into this first room. It looks like they do know the path. Yeah, you can actually avoid the fire completely by jumping on the door. The charger goes in, but whiffs. Spit goes down onto nothing, but that's the death charge shut down mostly. Looks like the smoker's going to go and try and uh, scratch some of those doors open. The jockey's going to go ahead and take out these windows. Another nice take by Team Keyboard Warriors. No death charge is always good. Yeah, absolutely. I think that charger, he tried to go through the door, and he was just too close to it, so the door just stumbled him. So he wasn't able to get that, but they, they are able to kind of, you know, call an audible, get those two fire doors open, and force survivors outside. But it doesn't look like they're going to be able to capitalize on that. Yeah, it looks like the boomer was going for a proxy, maybe try and get a stumble into a cliff, but KO shuts that down very nicely. We do have another charger ready. There is another death charge opportunity, but it's already gone. Keyboard Warriors run right into the elevator, and they're heading right down. They're taking this map extremely well, uh, which is to be expected because this is their home server. <laughs> yeah, that is true. And they're they're a pretty solid team. I'm not too familiar with too many of the players in the server, but I do know some of the guys on Keyboard Warriors, and I know they, they've been playing pretty well so far. And uh, mm. you had an interesting stat about both these teams with their, their records. Did uh, yes, actually. Both of these teams are 2-1. They've got two wins and one loss each. G granted, they both have uh, one win due to forfeits because their opponents didn't show up. And they both have lost to the same team, Team Disabled, which is the Chinese team. Looks like the next hit is going in. Jockey's going to jump in there, but gets shut down. The Smoker goes for a pull, but the tongue gets cut. We still got the Spitter holding onto her spit, as well as the Charger ready to charge. Maybe they can get some sort of last second thing. But the Survivors um, are definitely aware that they're there. They've got to be able to hear them. And that Jockey's still jumping around, just taking a little bit of chip. I'm not really sure what the Infected is thinking at this point. I mean, that's kind of a tall order to get this Charger here out in the open. <laughs> yeah, and with the the fixes with the, the spit not really spreading into the elevator it makes it a much safer place to kind of hang out although uh it's like knocking through a little bit of death spit but either way they're still looking really good here they've got a 550 bonus and really only one more attack to absolutely that's about like as good as it gets if you're the survivors 
And it looks like we've got maybe one hit left for the infected. We've got a Jockey Smoker, Spitter, Boomer. 2-2 two, two is not great, especially not in this area, especially since the survivors are spawn blocking those uh, two vending machines. That's a new addition, I believe, which does add some spawns, but not too many. We're gonna see, looks like the Boomer is gonna try and get a sneaky proxy boom up ahead, which Coach is pushing into. We're gonna see if ZK gets the shutdown. Yeah, this isn't just any 2-2, two, two. this is, you know, probably the worst 2-2 two, two you can mm. have. Maybe we'll get lucky, we'll see a, a pullback into the fire, that'll do a ton of damage, but the timer is going out, so they're gonna have to make a move here pretty soon, I would think. Nice M2 on the jockey and shut down, looks like that boomer's all by himself. Looks like the spit's going for some sort of spit delay, nice proxy on the coach. Spit goes down, but there's nothing there to capitalize on that. That's most of this hit already taken care of. The smoker also spawned up ahead, but wasn't able to get anything. Now he's just kind of running around. Looks like he's gonna try and get a delay for his team, maybe, but I think this should be safer. Yeah, it, maybe they'll get a couple of lay SI here. Maybe this hunter can get something, but they're gonna make this map with a, a pretty good bonus, although they're, they're, they're buying some time for the effect. They're kind of just hanging out and nothing's really gonna land though, so. Yeah, Charger, Jockey, Hunter all went in sort of individually. The Jockey did land for a second, but gets shut down. That's map one taken by Keyboard Warriors with a hefty amount of bonus. Very nicely done. We're going to see if Keyboard Warriors can capitalize on this further, maybe by getting, you know, some sort of death charge on the first half of this map. Or, you know, if you're a, if you're che cheering for a Keyboard Warriors, you would definitely want some sort of, like, crazy tank life. But we'll see what they can get together. Tank wipe would be huge because then you're going to get a map too, and you're probably going to be down, you know, 900 points, and you've only got three maps to make it up. So that would, you know, really kind of uh, make this very difficult for uh, MSB to come back on. But I'm going to hope that they they get through this and make some bonus. Looks like they're readying up already. These teams are really chomping at the bit here. We've got a smoker, boomer, hunter, hunter for this first hit. Uh, as noted before, this tank does spawn pretty far into this hallway, so I think if I were Team Keyboard Warriors, I would definitely want to send that spit, uh, Smoker up ahead, try and get a pull on that first survivor, and then with the Hunters, just try and scratch him down. There are a lot of spawns here, but, you know, it's not hard to get those early clears, especially since it looks like, yeah, Coach has got the shotgun, Nick's got the Susie, and you've got the two survivors blocking the back with their pistols. Looks like the hit's going in, the smoke goes in, but Nick jumps back in, gets the first early clear. One hunter lands onto Nick, gets immediately cleared, another lands onto Rochelle, also cleared. That boomer's still jumping around, looks like he's gonna get some sort of proxy on the rest of the team. That's a bit of a mistake by Team MSB, but that's the first hit shut down, mostly fine. They should be able to spawn this tank with no fear of uh, getting caught in this hallway. Yeah, the good thing is three of those players are now in four punch range. So that'll make the tank's job a little easier as long as he avoids Migo, who is playing his uh, And tank is going to be in Nox hands. He's going to go for a, a sneaky rock, just a little high, but, you know, Nox always been one of the, the better players, I think, and definitely, you know, a great tank player. So we'll see what he can do here. Yeah, I think Nox and K are certainly the players to watch uh, for Team Keyboard Warriors. Also, I've heard that Migo is pretty good. Oh, it looks like Tim Knox going right in there. That smoker still alive? It is still alive. That's very interesting. He gets two punches onto Ellis. That should be the corner. Nice double punch onto Ellis and Rochelle. Another punch onto Ellis. The smoker goes for a pull a little bit early, but gets shut down. Looks like this tank is now up against three survivors. He's going to get a double punch on Rochelle and Coach. Jockey lands off the Nick. This might be the wipe. That's the wipe. Wow. Yeah, that tank got that first in cap, and he still had like 3,500 health, I think it was, and the smoker went a little early and, and, and got killed. But the tank had so much health, he got another corner, lots of multis. Uh, yeah, here we are, uh, almost a 900 point deficit going into map. My goodness, that double punch onto Coach and Rochelle put them both in those corners just perfectly. I mean, <laughs> those angles were incredible. And yeah, that, you know, Jockey landed onto Nick and no one was there to clear him. I think the survivors definitely misplayed that in terms of their positioning. I think, you know, once Ellis got in capped, the survivors ran all the way to the other side of the safe room. And I feel like that was their mistake. I think they gave up those vents a little too easily. When you're fighting a tank there, I like to stay up there. You know, it makes it really easy to juke the tank. And unless there's a smoker to pull you off on, there's not really much the support can do about it. But, you know, they already killed the smoker. You're like, you're safe on that end. 
Yeah, it's also hard. I mean, you got to remember these guys have like you know 200 ping, so it's it's it's, that it's is tough worth to, remembering. Yeah, it's tough to make you know the right plays and to get through that. It's it's a tough tank anyway. You're gonna take damage. It's just you know preventing that wipe is the important part. Yeah. Regardless, we do have Team Keyboard Warriors with a almost what 800 point lead right now going into Chapter Two, so. All's good, you know, so far, but there are still some disastrous uh, opportunities for a Reloading. wipe early in the game. We've got the first hit ready. It's a Charger Boomer Hunter Smoker. Pretty decent spawns, although I'm not really sure about this positioning. Looks like we've already got the Hunter pre-spawned up top, making a little noise. He gave us, you know, scratched the wall. Looks like everything else is planning on spawning off top, too. The Boomer goes for a boom, but the Survivor's already got it in there under the balcony. Charger goes in, but gets shut down. The Hunter does land just for a second. The Boomer foxes onto one Survivor, and that's the first hit shut down. Yeah, another nice take there. Really not a lot of damage going out, just a little bit, and they're going to kind of fight through this horde. Uh, watch them go down the street. We'll see this next attack probably, you know, end of the street in this next little room area. Maybe maybe upstairs, maybe downstairs. We'll have to kind of see how they want to. While they don't have a spitter, it's going to be a smoker, charger, boomer, hunter. I would still send that in downstairs. Usually the uh, boomer can get some sort of sneaky spawn. If not under the stairs, then right around the corner. Oh no, looks like they're sending it in upstairs. The boomer goes in, proxies onto two survivors somehow. Charger, hunter, and smoker both go in. Charger and smoker get shut down. The hunter does land just for a second on the Ellis, but gets cleared. Yeah, it looked like they were trying to get that pull back and then punch with the charger, but they were just a little late. And I think it was Ellis who was the last one in who was able to, able to sneak in and close that door and really kind of kill that attack right you know, just by being in the right yeah i think the uh msb has got a lot of work to do on their infected i mean keyboard warriors have barely taken any damage and most of that uh, is not going to put them in a too great situation i believe 40 percent tank is going to be on the bridge i believe wow that was a weird boomer i thought they got the m2 but he still managed to boom onto nick we're going to get a bit of four going in but this is still a pretty open area and there's not a whole lot for this, what is this Hunter Spitter charger to do? I think they might just want to save this for the ladder crossing. Yeah, they're going to reposition, probably go bridge, or maybe even inside in the stairwell. But I wouldn't be too worried about the damage they have on the board. It's only been two attacks, and, you know, they just have gotten unlucky on their timings, really. You know, not really anything crazy's happened, just. Fair enough. Looks like we've already got a hunter spawned in on the wall, making some noise. He does take a little bit of chip. Charger's going in another hunter. Char hunt First hunter does land for a second. Another one lands on the coach with a little bit of spit going down. My mistake that landed on Nick, not coach. And the charger with his charge, he's going to maybe try and get a punch on the Rochelle. He does land one, two. Nicely done. <laughs> yeah, pretty good punches there. And, and now we've got some decent damage. And that's... Yeah, pretty good considering not a whole lot of, you know, SI land of there. So now we'll see, are they going to run all the way back? Are they going to go in this back corner area? Or do you have a favorite position for this? Looks like they're running it all the way back. I prefer to fight it out there by the truck, but that's just me. I guess Team Keyboard Warriors doesn't want anything to do with that hittable, but they do eat a tri boom for moving that far back. And a Hunter does land on the Ellis just for a second, but this tank is a little too far to capitalize on any of that. Oh no, the Boomer gets the stumble onto Ellis. The tank might just catch him. It does catch him. That's one punch, a double punch on Ellis and Rochelle. Third punch on Ellis, and one more should be the in cap. Now we've got, we've got three survivors, a ton of board moving in. Tank turns around, he gets a punch on the coach, but I don't think he's going to catch him. He's still green, but he's still going for it. The support is going in. Rochelle is trying to get the pickup onto Ellis. Charge is going to try and interrupt that. He does get the interrupt, and now the tank is moving back towards the survivor. He's going to get a rock throw. No skeet, it hits Rochelle very nicely done. We still got a jockey running around, but he's gonna try and get out of there, maybe get a despawn. Smoker's also spawning in the closet behind him, but the survivors are aware that he's in there. Now this tank is trying to work this hittable in. Looks like he's gonna make it in too. It's a nice hatchback, really nice punch. <laughs> in caps, coach, incredible, and gets a punch onto Nick. Now he's gonna go for a curve rock. No skeet, hits Rochelle again. And now Nick is all alone trying to, you know, chip this tank up by himself, but the tank's gonna jump right in there, get one punch, two punches. Very nicely done. Oh my gosh, he misses the last punch on the Nick. That's unfortunate, but that is inc well, that's right. literally all of the survivors' oh, health wow. bonus gone by this tank. In what, you know, wow, that, that is was, just incredible. That was sick. That was a that was a nice tank fight. He, yeah, I was wondering would he would he drop in because he his support was down and you know it, 
the horde kind of coming in was going to help buy him some time, and he, he obviously made the right choice there. Absolutely. He climbed up and over, you know, this uh, bridge, this highway that the infected are now looking to spawn on. Spitter Jockey, Smoker Charger. I definitely would throw this in right now. They are doing it. Jockey lands onto Nick just for a second. They get the in-cap. Nice pull onto Coach, and he separated. The Charger also gets a punch onto him, but not quite the in-cap. So close. Though. Yeah, this is this is really rough for Keyboard Warriors, but this is also really nice for Man Sad Bat, because now they, this is how they're going to help overcome their their deficit that they're at right now so especially because now they're not going to get a lot of points on their home server on map two the keyboard warriors that is so not only can they make up some points on the away game but they can also make up some points on their home servers absolutely a hunter lands on the rochelle just for a second the spit goes down the charger gets the pickup onto that and puts her back into the spit very nicely done and yeah as you were mentioning looks like this boom is going to go for the interrupt as well it gets a proxy onto nick as well very nicely done i mean it's not like the lead is gone but i mean what a turnaround also this is just serves as a huge morale booster for team msb i mean they've had such you know bad luck with their you know i think a lot of their sort of misplays could be attributed to their ping but now like they are sitting pretty this is looking like a potential wipe here for map two which means that that lead isn't going to get you know too too big for them and as you mentioned Reloading. uh if team keyboard warriors doesn't manage to get a massive amount of lead on their home server then the pressure is going to be on for game two on the away server yeah it's definitely nice to see too that you know we're, we may not be dealing with a, a one-sided match you know mm. this could be this could end up being a, a pretty close game and it looks like it you know it probably will be that hey i'm reloading Looks like Nock is on um, one HP is going to be slow, but every single survivor right now has been in capped, which means that, you know, downing them for speed may not be the best idea. It doesn't look like they're going to go for it. The next hit is ready. We've got a spitter jockey boomer hunter. The boomer goes in, but gets nicely popped by uh, Slay. Looks like Spitter's going to try and get some spit delay or maybe an in cap, but that spit flies way high and misses the bridge completely. Yeah, a little long there, and there there's no need for them to in cap to move uh, to gain speed right now because they, they still have a lot of a lot of map to go to get to the event even and if they in cap now they're gonna just you know bleed out and be back to where they're at but they're doing a decent job you know of, of getting through here but yeah like you said once anyone goes down they will be black and white on pickup that's a scratch on to ellis that gets him down nick is also in cap the hunters is going in for scratches on the coach and gets it that's the wipe very nicely done by team MSP, you know, again, it's not a, a comeback per se, but things are definitely looking up for them right now. They have a huge opportunity to make this map with bonus and, you know, get back into this game. Yeah, no, for sure. And I mean, you expect to lose on your away server, so that's not really a surprise, but to get a wipe like that, that early, uh, you know, they can definitely kill that tank and at least, you know, make more distance and you know, bring the lead down a little bit, and then the big part will be on their home server, where they can make up a lot of points. In the Absolutely. The first hit is ready now. 14 keyboard warriors on the infected side. They've got pretty big job to do right now. The boomer already spawns, and the survivors run right back into the safe room. We're going to see if Ellis manages to get this pop. He's looking for it, but the boomer's sitting just out of sight. Looks like he's going to try and get an arc boom. I definitely wouldn't try and walk that in there. The rest of the infected are ready. We're going to see. I'm surprised that neither of these... Oh no, the smoker is looking for the smoke from behind. The boomer goes in, but also misses from that same spot on the balcony. The smoker is trying to get a pull. Does manage to get it on Rochelle, and the charger does land on Coach. A little bit of a misplay, but it's not a ton of damage. Nothing to worry about. That boomer's still walking around trying to get a proxy. He does manage to get it onto Nick, but it should be a pretty easy horde to walk through. <laughs> He's kind of lucky he got that proxy on Nick. Nick was just running and he was letting his teammates deal with the boomer, and his teammates just happened to M2 it like right at him. Yeah. <laughs> That's how. In the uh, another interesting thing to note is Reloading. they've got four Uzis on the survivor side right now, so we'll oh. see how we'll see how that may affect this hit here in this tight area. Maybe they can't, you know, get as much damage as they want. But do we? No, we got a nice uh, tri cap with a spitter here. So Charger goes in from behind, gets immediately cleared. The hunter does land down below in spit. Looks like that is a really bizarre spread, but Ellis does manage to get out of there. Still not. Tons of damage, not too much to worry about, although they're here, they are in the four punch range. Now, the question for MSB, I'm thinking these four Uzis means that they're definitely thinking of a... In my mind, 
I think they're planning on playing this tank aggressive. I think they're, they're, they just plan on getting in its face and just like melting it with those scissors. But we're going to see what the strategy is. I think they don't really want to run it back. They don't want to Reloading. suffer a same boomer stumble into like insta tank in the, the way that SZ got on his side. But we're going to see. Yeah, well, they were able to get ammo off that red truck if they grabbed the Uzi off there. So I was a little worried, you know, are they going to have enough, you know, just ammo, ammo to fight this tank up here? But, um, yeah, they could fight it kind of where they're at now. Um, there's also that little back area where like, the box truck kind of is. Um, if they don't eat a boom here, they could even go all the way back. If the... Very nice pop. The tank is moving in. It's up in the hands of ZK. The rest of the hit is going in. Spitter goes down. Hunter gets shut down. We've only got another Hunter up on the highway ready. But it looks like he might be looking for a despawn. Yeah, it looks like the survivors are taking this back at this truck. This is my favorite spot to play a tank. Of course, the... Um, there are a few spawns here, but I think it's pretty easy to kite this tank around. Not only the vans, but also the trees. We're going to see what Team Keyboard Warriors puts together here. They really need a wipe if they want to get a nice, you know, preserve their lead here. Yeah, although we're going to see what, possibly a two cap here. That's a lot of damage on the coach and then another cap there. And Tank is working this hittable and it looks like they're going to try to push him and try to get as much damage as they can. But he's, he's climbing out, so now I wonder you know, are they going to try to go forward maybe a little bit just to the other side of that? I'm reloading. Oh, it looks like he's jumping onto the highway. I think the survivors took a little bit too long, but no, looks like they are reloading. pushing. I think I would definitely not go any further than this. You want to fight this tank here. He's already right on top of these survivors, and he's jumping in. He's pushing into uh, Nick and Rochelle. They both get out of there. Oh, very nice juke. The tank misses the punch. He does get one onto Ellis. That charger goes in and whips. We've also got a jockey running around. It does manage to land onto Nick. The tank gets a punch on Rochelle. Another one on Rochelle. That tank is still up. Third punch on Rochelle. This one should be the yin cap. He does manage to get it. The boomer does land onto Nick. He's got a lot of horde going out, but this tank's got no support, but he does manage to get out of there. And now he's going to work the cop car in? Very nice punch. It's right in the perfect position right there. And looks like the tank's going to go for a long rock here. Doesn't manage to hit anything. The survivors do manage to get the pickup onto Rochelle, but this tank fight is looking pretty bad so far. The tank's still got... Oh, never mind. I completely misread that. He only has 300 HP. I'm not sure if the survivors are aware, however. The plane is very conservative, flying all the way to the back, but that tank still has the other card to work with. Smoker gets a pull onto Rush on the coach, but gets instantly cleared. The charger goes in and whisks. The tank throws the table in, but misses, and that's a dead tank. I mean, I can't believe how long that tank lasted with, like, 450 health. I think when that jockey landed, uh, the tank just stopped getting shot at, and he was able to, to just remain in play with 400 health for quite also really good map awareness because he managed to get that affected ladder right out of there as you mentioned as soon as that jockey was uh, cleared which you know all of the survivors were looking at the tank was already out of there and he was able to manage to work the hittable back in but unfortunately didn't get any clears off of that now ellis got a pull onto ellis i mean the smoker got a pull onto ellis and gets immediately cleared but he's going to jump in there for some scratches you know, it, not a great tank fight, but Team MSP still got, you know, two of their pills and some good health on this. I think this map is still doable. They can still make the safe. Yeah, if they find some pills up ahead, I don't know, like, what's what's ahead of them. But at the very least, they can they can gain some distance. You know, they can go push that, that semi-truck that explodes and get, you know, their max distance before they get... And that'll, that'll, you know, help kind of bring that deficit down a little bit. Speaking of which, seems like there's a bit of a, uh, you know, misplays on Keyboard Warrior's side. Maybe they're feeling the pressure. The Spitter and Charger kind of went in by themselves, and then that Boomer and Jockey, like, I don't know, maybe they were told to save, or maybe they just didn't know where to spawn, but they're starting to hit a little bit out of order. Nothing major so far, but they do have a pretty nice choke here and a Charger to capitalize on it, along with a Smoker for their new spawn. We're going to see what they put together for this. Yeah, I imagine we'll see that hit at either the top of the stairs or as they're about to drop. Looks like the SI are on that are on that roof, so we'll probably see them kind of drop off on them here in just a second. Although now they are repositioning, so now they might wait until they start the actual event. I'm very surprised they didn't decide to throw that charger in at the choke. But, I mean, we're going to see what exactly Nock is planning to do with this. Survivors are making, like, pretty good distance just clearing out these commons. I'm curious how many survivors are exactly going to go into this shop. Looks like Coach... Looks like all four of them. The smoker gets pulled onto Rochelle, but gets cleared. The charger goes in. Whiffs on Rochelle. 
Oh, but she isn't able to get the M2 on the jockey, but it does get cleared out of there. Boomer gets a two boom onto them, but looks like the survivors are going to head on in there. Pretty nice take by Team MSV right now. Yeah, and that's going to allow them to grab the cola. And obviously, with their health, they have to, you know, be a little aggressive here. They can't really sit and hold out this event. So the big question is, you know, are they going to get the cola in? Because if they get the cola in, the rest of the map is pretty wide open. And at that point, yeah, they, they definitely could make this map. And their bonus is still. 456. Absolutely. Looks like the next hit is ready. Charger, Hunter, Spitter, Smoker. Looks like the Hunter's already pre spawned behind the pickup. Charger's going to look to get a spawn behind them. And it looks like these survivors are planning on waiting out, if not the entire horde, at least this first hit. Smoker and Charger spawn, spawn behind. Smoker gets pulled on their coach. The Hunter gets immediately cleared. The Charger gets nice three punches on the survivors. I think a double punch as well onto Nick. And that's an in cap. On to Amigo. But that's another hit shut down. The survivors should be able to make it to the coal machine, perhaps. Depends how quickly they get this pickup. Yeah, they'll get to the coal. The horde is pretty much over, so they'll get there. It's, you know, will they wipe here? Maybe? Uh, are they going to get a spitter with this last spawn? No, they don't. So it's a tri cap with a boomer. So they should be able to, you know, survive this, especially popping that boomer like that. I would definitely think about maybe downing one of these survivors as soon as this hit is shut down. You don't want to get scratched down like Team Keyboard Warriors did just now. Ellis gets pulled and in -cap. The Hunter goes in on Rochelle but gets immediately cleared. Jockey gets a nice double scratch in -caps on Rochelle and Coach. Oh, and the lands on Nick. That's the wipe. What an MVP Jockey. Who was that? Knock. Very impressive. Dude, that poor Jockey got dead stopped twice. And then he, then he landed the scratches in the final cap on the last guy. My goodness, that was exactly what I was afraid of. The survivors, you know, they're all fairly low. And, you know, any SI can get those scratching caps, and that's exactly what happened to Keyboard Warriors. That's pretty unfortunate for Team MSP, but the lead has lessened somewhat. I'm trying to do some quick maths here. No, it it's was like still 800 points. Yeah, it was less than 100 points that they made up. But this is this is a big map. I mean, this can, you know, depending where this tank is at, there could be a lot of points here. And then um, finale is also going to be really favorable to the home teams. And there's a lot of points to make up. Mm, absolutely, we do have an early tank for this map, early-ish. It is pretty large, so I'm not exactly sure where that percentage is. But if it's where I think it is, which is before the, uh, you know, after the first set of escalators, that's not a great area to try and get a wipe for the tank. But we're going to see where it spawns exactly. Regardless, the first hit is ready. Spitter, Charger, Smoker, Jockey. Keywords, Warriors, back on the survivor side. We've got, you know, I wouldn't say that they've got a lot of work to do, but I think they're starting to get a little bit less comfortable with themselves, because after that first map, you would think, like, oh, this is going to be an easy win. But now, not so much. It's not looking that way. Yeah, I mean, they're still going to win on their home server, probably. You know, it, it's rare when that doesn't happen, but it's a matter of, you know, can you get, can you score enough points to make it, you know, worth your home game, if that makes sense. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Looks like the Jockey, Smoker, and Charger are all pre-spawn waiting for it. Survivor's going to push out and try and get a shutdown on this Jockey. It does manage to land just for a second, but gets cleared. Charger also gets insta-cleared as soon as it lands on the Survivor, and the Smoker goes in. Spit goes down on nothing. It's a perfect take by Team Keyboard Warriors. I don't think, yeah, almost no damage taken. This yeah, they've done a really good job for most of the SI hits. It was really just that, that triple room they ate, and then that tank fight where they looked kind of shaky on the survivor side other than that they looked really strong and you know all these a lot of the tank fights in this this map are you know tough they're they're very tough for the tank like if they stay up here it's going to be you know, can the si get a stumble to the tank or a charge or something you know what i mean yeah absolutely i think Looks like the Boomer is trying to get a sneaky spawn by this like little information panel. He does manage to get the spawn and a double boom on Rochelle and Nick. Very nicely done. Not sure if the tank looks like... Yeah, no, he looks like he's not going to commit on that. He's going to throw, try and throw a curve rock. He's also got a jockey spin down below. Well, the tank is committing with this. He's going, pushing into Nick's face right now. The survivors are cutting him out pretty well. There's not much common there to slow any of them down. He's going to keep on chasing them. 
Jockey does manage to land on Talos just for a second. The charger goes in and whiffs. Tank does manage to get. Oh my god, whiffs. <laughs> Did you see that? Alice, that was. I have no idea what just happened. The Jockey, however, has managed to land onto Rochelle, but it does get clear the tank does manage to land a rock onto the Alice, and now he's pushing into Nick's face. Gets one punch, gets another punch. What an arm. The Smoker's gonna try and get a pull onto Coach, but the misses. The tank gets another punch onto. Oh no, that's a dead tank. Yeah, this. I don't really know what to say about that. That was some really bizarre movement by Ellis when he juked those two punches on like the escalators. I'm not really <laughs> he, sure what happened there. He got punched, and then it looked like, like in the middle of his getup animation, he landed on a common's head and like common hopped, like while he oh was in the gosh. get up animation. It looked really strange, but um, but yeah, I mean that's that's kind of how that tank fight goes. You know, they they got the two boom, but nothing could catch up to it, and the support, you know, all all missed. You know, if if that jockey landed, or if that charger landed, and gave the tank some free punches, you know, it would have been a much different story. But either way, I mean, that's that's still okay damage for that tank, and we're gonna see the big damage come out during this event probably. Yeah, it's not you know terrible. But uh, without, like, a smoker to try and get, like, some sneaky pulls into the tank, you know, as the survivors are trying to run away, it's kind of hard to land anything. Wow, Rocket Boom landing on two survivors. Charger goes in, gets whiffed and melted. The spit goes down onto nothing, and now we've got a jockey trying to land onto Ellis, but gets m 2 and lands anyways, but gets cleared. Yeah, so they've, they've got, you know, good bonus right now, but they need to kind of hold on to it as much as they, obviously hold on to as much as they as they can, but they need to score, you know, quite a few points on this this map to help, you know, to help cushion themselves for when they go on, you know, their away. Now we're gonna see how the survivors decide to take this event. Nice boom lands onto Nick. We've also got a hundred going in from the front. Doesn't manage to, does manage to land onto Nick just for a second. Spit goes down as well. That's the bit of damage, not terrible. Uh, as I was saying. I'm curious to see how Keyboard Warriors decide to take this event. Are they going to hold it out in one of these bathrooms, or are they just going to go for it and try and run it? That's, uh, you know, debate worth thinking about. Nope, looks like they're running it. They're going to push on through and take right or left? Left. Yeah, I think that's the, the common path. And they, they'll probably hold up here for a second and either bait an attack or just kind of kill common until, you know, something happens. The boomer is going to go in, but not going to have a lot of luck and the survivors don't know this but there is not a smoker in play right now so if they wanted to they could you know possibly take the escalator without the risk getting pulled off but we could see a quad here absolutely also it is worth mentioning that taking it here as opposed to the bathroom downstairs means that ammo is a slight concern we don't know how much they've got left, but they are running four Uzis, so we'll see how they manage to handle these commons and these hits. In fact, they're going into Jockey, does manage to land on Rochelle for a bit. Hunter also lands onto Coach, but gets cleared, although he is spit, so he's going to have to jump off there. That's a really nice damage for this area. Come on, come on, on your feet. Rochelle's going to try and get this pickup. I think Alexi is having a bit of an issue with his mic connection. Are you still with us? Oh, no, I'm back. I was saying bye gotcha. to my girlfriend. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. All good. Looks like the survivors are going to go ahead and take this escalator. There is a smoker for this hit, but looks like he's got no one to pull but Ellis, but gets immediately cleared. Hunter also lands on Ellis, and the chart is going to try and get some punches. Maybe a reset chart? Wow. Oh, oh. That is really bad for keyboard warriors. And as we were saying earlier, you know, they re they really needed to score a lot of points on this map to cushion themselves on their away game. And that's looking like it might not happen here. At this point, I mean, I think there's like 30 or 40 some common left. They're probably going to, you know, fight the rest of this on this first. Oh, that jockey, though. Yeah, the jockey's landed on the Rochelle, and there's no one there to clear her. The positioning is really starting to hurt them. First, Ellis was behind. Now, Rochelle is too far forward, and Keyboard Warriors are really starting to fall, fall apart. And towards, you know, they haven't even made it through, like, half of this event area. The jockey tries to get an interrupt, but gets m 2 but not... Oh, it does get killed. Now the infected have a charger. He's gonna go for it, but doesn't manage to land. Very nice juke by ZK right there. Yeah, I mean, this is... This has turned into a, a real big victory for MSB so far on this map on their their infected side on you know their away match. 
because you know you can you can score a lot of points in this map, especially you know if this event goes smoothly and that tank goes smoothly. Like you could easily score six, seven hundred bonus on your home server. So the fact that they're already down to 303 and they haven't you know even made the map yet is is pretty huge for MSB and keyboard warrior is going to have their work cut out for themselves you know for the rest of this match and for their their away game coming up next oh very nice two cap landing on the coach and ellis in the front in spit that's two in caps for both of them and that's going to put them both into black and white so i mean the potential is definitely there for a white but i think the infected are going to have to land some more devastating hits in these uh hallways and stairwells because once the survivors make it past that into the next area with the escalators, there's just not much to be had in terms of infected play. We're going to see what they manage to put together. They've got a spitter, charger, boomer, and hunter. Nice and closed area, although at, nice shutdown on the boomer. The hunter is going to go in anyways, lands onto Nick, spit goes down, and the charger is going to go for the for the capitalization onto Nick. I love the way MSB is sending their hits in right now. You know, they're not going for like super like coordinated like multi camps but as soon as they get one survivor they all just kind of dogpile him you know in the spit the way that charger got that reset charge onto ellis in the middle of his getup animation very smart yeah indeed and we'll see what they do with this last of the pills they found because uh coach is black and white he just got the pills and he needs to take them he's gonna he might die on this attack if he doesn't take the pills oh the charger the charger lets him live but it doesn't matter they're gonna wipe anyway and yeah that's uh that's quite the map for MSB. Yeah, like you said, there's a ton of points to be made on this map if MSB can avoid that sort of wipe. You know, if not on this game, then on the away game. Things are definitely looking up for them. They've been playing from behind this whole time, but I think they've got another really nice opportunity to, you know, lessen some of this lead and really put the screws to keyboard warriors and, you know, like, you know, sort of outplaying them on their home server. That's, you know, that's not a good look for you. Yeah, well, and it, it almost feels like it's not really that they've been they've been out playing them just yet. You know, you look at map two, and it was really that tank fight that went so well for MSB on map two, right? And they just did so much damage. And that's kind of, you know, how the game goes is the tank fights can be, you know, super punishing. And that's exactly what we saw on map two. And you look at, you know, map three here, you know, it was just... They got that charge off, right? They took some damage before that, but that charge off really hurt them. And then they had some some loose positioning afterwards, and they just took a ton of damage. So MSB definitely has a chance to make some points up here. And that separation, that pull charge into a spit is going to be pretty good for Keyboard Warriors. As Ryan's going to start this map almost slow. He's down to 45 health already after one attack. Wow, MSB getting a taste of their own medicine right there. Ryan was out of position for a second, gets full charged into spit. You know, again, the infected deciding, you know what? Screw trying to land multicaps. We're just going to, like, pick one survivor and just, like, all jump right on top of him. Regardless, the tank is up now in the hands of KO. Uh, you know, not a great area, but I think if anyone could make something work with this tank, it would be KO. We're going to see what he manages to put together. It'll be interesting. We have essentially the same SI setup with a, a charge boom spit or, or sorry, charge boom jockey. I'm sorry. Oh my and this goodness. is a triple boom. And it looks like Keo is gonna he's gonna wanna come in and again if the oh they're gonna fall back. So this this is I don't know if I like this because now the common may catch them, but because there are common coming from behind, so it's a matter of, you know, will the common slow them up and will the SI be able to like watch this charger on the escalator if they go downstairs. Yeah, he does manage to get a punch onto Nick, but Nick manages to evade him now. He gets a punch onto Rochelle, the charger goes in, but whiffs, and a hunter, I mean, jockey lands onto Ellis, takes him away. Rochelle is pulled. Ellis is going way down there by himself. The charger's chasing him. He's going to try and get some punches on there. And that is the end of that tank fight. My bad. The tank died a while ago. <laughs> yeah, and that, that again, that went really well. The, <clears throat> the survivors just did so much damage to that tank before anything caught up to them. And, you know, that's why that tank was able, you know, to die so quickly. They really just tunneled him hard, and they're looking pretty good. You know, with this kind of health, the event's definitely going to be tough with the, their high ping, but they can definitely make this map. 
Absolutely. They're all still in the green. I mean, Ryan is still like right there on the edge, but they're still sitting pretty. Nice pop by Ryan, popping Kayla's boomer. Jockey does manage to land on to Nick for a bit, but gets cleared. Nice tongue cut. Uh, things are not looking good for Keyboard Warriors right now. Yeah, but again, you know, that's that's a tough hit, though. And we'll we'll start to see some, you know, really good opportunities for attacks here coming up. I feel like once you go past this little door here, this little drop, that's when the map really kind of turns in favor of the SI. You know, you got some tight areas. You got the event coming up. So this is going to be, you know, when we see keyboard warriors have a chance to really do some good damage. Absolutely. It looks like the hunter was pre spawn gets shut down immediately. Charger goes in and whips. Spit goes down onto nothing. Yeah, Boomer does get a proxy onto Ellis, but that's no big deal. He's just going to pull out his melee and just push on through. Looks like the other survivors are having a bit of trouble catching up, and yeah, they're going to move on through. Now, once again, the question uh, I like to ask here, where are these survivors going to take this event? I am a big fan. No, they're not taking the bathroom. All right. No, they are. Very nice. I definitely like this area just because it, it's so impossible to hit, you know, all four of these survivors with their guns. Nothing really gets through there alive, although the hunter almost makes it for a second. Boomer gets a proxy onto coach and looks like they're only going to take that one hit. Now they're going to push on through and up these escalators. Yeah, that room can be really strong until, until a spitter gets a spit back there in a really <laughs> nice spurt. And then it becomes like, a, oh god, what have, we, what have we done moment. But they are going to use that opportunity to not only take the first escalator, but the second one as well. So now they're, they're in a really strong spot right now, and they can just kind of sit back and wait for the SI to go. Very smart. I mean, your ping doesn't affect spawn timers. MSB are playing this really smart right now. Jockey doesn't manage to land on Nick for a bit. Spit goes down onto that hunt, so that's going to be a bit of damage, but again, just not what uh, Keyboard Warriors are looking for. And as you mentioned, you know, past that little point of no return, technically speaking, is normally when the infected get their best hits, but I think MSB has already taken the majority of the danger out of the equation. They've already made it through this event. They're going to shut that alarm down, and there's only a few more, like, really good areas, you know, nice chokes for the infected to use. This being one of them, the jockey goes in, charger goes in, but, oh my gosh, what did it hit? Really nice spit spread, but otherwise not a ton of damage. Yeah, regardless, though, you know, MSB is sitting at, you know, over 500 points of bonus. So if they, if they make this map and they make it with, you know, somewhat close to what they have bonus wise you know we're looking at a really a really close game on their on their away server um, but again you know i think we'll see how it plays out and you know still have the the finale is, is a huge map you know definitely get a wipe early tank you can definitely score a ton of points and like it was you know mentioned in chat you know some of these players on keyboard warriors you know they're they're used to playing with the higher pings, so you know maybe they're going to perform, you know, better than you'd expect someone to on their away game. Mm, that is worth remembering. We've got a fair amount of uh, players from South America on both sides, so that may explain why MSP is not doing super bad on this game, and why Keyboard Warriors may not do too bad on their away game. Regardless, that smoker goes in but gets shut down. Jockey goes in. Doesn't manage to land the hunt. Charger also goes in and whips. Spit goes down onto nothing. It is going to delay uh, Ellis and Nick in the back, but that should be safe. Yeah, they're going to get in there, and we're going to watch the common not know how to get up to the, uh, <laughs> to the top the floor. Oh, God. Someone someone fix it. Where, where is Sir and NF when you need them? <laughs> I would assume that's a symptom of, uh, you know, the map here being changed because... You know, where this is traditionally one of those kind of somewhat randomized maps, when the path is changed like this and set in stone, I feel like the commons are suddenly, I don't know, they're looking for like the regular path, but it's not there. At least that's my, that's what it looks like to me. I'm not a programmer. I wouldn't know. Yeah, I mean, we're just, we're just professional uh, esports casters doing esports things, right? <laughs> Absolutely. We are now in the finale this like you mentioned you know if one of these tanks on either side gets a wipe that would be massive but it's all down to you know really great support really great tank rotations and rocks 
you know, when tanks wipe here, it's not because it's, at least, you know, in my experience, not typically because it gets some, like, balls to the walls commit. But we'll see. Yeah, this is a tough tank to wipe on. I mean, you'll see teams take some damage. But I don't know if you often, you know, see teams wipe to this tank, though. Not in tournament play, that's for sure. But we're going to see. Keyword Warriors on the survivor side. MSB on the infected. And looks like, who are we waiting on? Amigo has yet to ready up. He said water break. So we, gotcha. might, we might be here for a little. Well, it wouldn't be a game of Left 4 Dead if we didn't have some sort of waiting on <laughs> for ready ups. I'm actually quite surprised that we haven't had a pause yet in this game, although I don't want to jinx that. Yeah, I think I just I, did. Now you've ruined it. Mm. I apologize <laughs> in advance for the inevitable pause that comes because I said that. Yeah. So it's always kind of interesting, you know, when the scavenge part kicks in because it almost feels like, you know, everyone has a plan when they start the map, but then as soon as like after this first tank fight, it just seems like. Sometimes that plan just doesn't get followed, and people just kind of run off, and they do this or that, or they <laughs> they hope they can they can get this can, and they probably shouldn't. They force things, so that's always kind of fun. But uh, that is so true. Regardless, we do have the first hit ready. Got a boomer hunter, a hunter smoker. Not great, but looks like the wow, really brave smoker right there, just walking out, going for the pull. First hunter gets skeeted. That second hunter just runs into the next bathroom somehow, and the survivors don't really seem to care. Yeah, they're just gonna push on through. Yeah, it's it's probably not worth chasing that hunter because then you may give the infected a chance to get a, a silly charge spit or something, right? So they're going to let him live. They're going to take the elevator and they're going to get to this tank fight. Hmm. Now, who's going to be this tank? It's going to be Migo's tank. Well, it's, you know, not to put the pressure on, but kind of large expectations for him because, again, you really want this wipe. And we're going to see... How exactly Keyboard Warriors choose to take it? Are they going to take it out in front, you know, sort of near the car, or do they just take it under the information desk? What in the world? A quad proxy boom. Somehow, we've got also got a Hunter trying to get some scratches onto Nick, but he's just going to jump on out of there. Migo has now spawned. He's going to start moving in. Looks like he's going to stay on the third floor and try and rotate around. Where are the survivors going to take this tank? I'm very curious to know. We'll probably see them go below the tank. And I think if, you know, if you're playing as infected right now, you're on your away server, you've done really well to keep the score in your favor. And you're probably, you know, you don't need a wipe, but you want to do as much damage as you can to kind of secure that wipe, you know, during the event. And hopefully you don't give up a huge bonus where, you know, because some of these teams, they'll, you know, they'll get all the cans in super fast. And then it's like, oh, well, crap, they just scored, you know. 1,400 mm. points. Looks like that first hit goes in, but the tank wasn't able to land a rock, so he's going to start rotating around. But he's already on second pass. Right now he's just, yeah, oh, I like this. He's just taking out the glass here on the bridge. Going to try and set up for some sort of a uh, death or cliffs for his support later in the game. Looks like the survivors have now rotated around. They're going to take this tank fight out near the car. That would definitely be my call. And he's already going to jump on in. Three Uzis spraying him in the face. Four Uzis, my mistake. He's trying to chase down one of these survivors, but they're kiting him extremely well. This tank has nowhere left to go. Jockey does try and go in for a second, but gets emptied. The tank does manage to land a rock onto Coach. Charger goes in and whiffs, gets a stumble, however, no one there to capitalize. And this Boomer is just nowhere near the action. He's got nothing left to go. He's just going to walk it in and free Boom, but doesn't land. The tank does manage to get one punch onto Rochelle, two punches onto Rochelle. That's a tank taken uh, just about as well as you could ask for by Team Keyboard Warriors. Yeah, really good tank, and honestly, they were just a, a couple of keyboard presses away from that being a no-hitter. You know, uh, I think it was Coach that ate that rock, unfortunately. Mm. You know, had he been able to sidestep that, and Rochelle just barely getting caught and end up eating two punches because of that. But they're they're looking good. So, you know, right now, like, they've got 1,200 bonus, and if this map is still worth 800, like I think it is, then, you know, that's 2,000 points that are possible. But we are going to see... A can burn, and that was, I think, from the top floor? I don't remember. Uh, looks like the spit is hanging out on the third floor near the bridge where the tank was taking out that glass, and the jockey did get a nice intercept, preventing Nick from grabbing that can out of there, but they are going to load in that first can. 
Looks like the survivors of now... Yeah, looks like they're gonna hit the second floor this time. If I were them, I would actually hit the third floor first. But that's just me. We're gonna see. There are, like, six cans over here that they can grab. Maybe it's always just better to get those, like, guaranteed, because these are probably the, the easiest ones to get, at least in my experience. I think they're waiting for that one to respawn on the third floor. I think is what they're waiting for. But they, they've taken a, wow, they've taken a lot of damage in these first two hits. They've already got three down to the yellow and on pills, so that's not really what they're looking for. But they are, they are moving a lot of cans, and the spitter is continuing to be a nuisance. I got it. <laughs> Rochelle is up all alone, but yeah, she's already gotten those cans out of there and she's going to rejoin her team. It is sort of like you mentioned, you know, as well as they took that tank, as soon as they start going for cans, the the team coordination kind of goes out the window, but looks like the keyboard warriors have uh, gotten it back together. Boomer does manage to land a single to one cook. Charger manages to land onto Ellis. Doesn't land a pound, however. The spit goes down, but Nick gets those cans out of there this time. Very nicely done. Yeah, I, I wonder how much damage the spitter has gotten just from survivors running to get cans out. <laughs> it's really interesting to see. SC is literally just kind of hanging out, picking off cans, you know, basically whenever he sees them. It looks like MSB. Again, I like the strategy where they're not really relying on coordination more than just guaranteed damage. Nice pound onto Ellis. The streak goes down, but the coach throws it out of there. This boom is going to try and get some sort of spawn into coach's face. There he goes. Second time's a try. And also gets a boom onto Ellis. Now he's going to walk it in, stumbles the boom out there, but the spitter does oh. not have her spitter this time, but did someone shoot the can? Someone shot the can. Dude, yeah, I can't see you shot the can. Let's get out of if anyone remembers that great sound pack. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's all, oh, Tank is in and he's in double fast. Uh, two double punches. Wow, and oh not able gosh. to get those pills off to kind of buy him some more time, but it's only a matter of time until he goes down. And this is looking like it's going to be a wipe for uh, for MS. Absolutely. Smoker gets a pull on the coach. Oh, it does get cleared by Rochelle. Very nice done. She also gets an M2 onto the jockey. Ducky's still running in there, but does manage to get killed. But right now, they don't have a lot of uh, HP to play around with this thing. Yeah, he's going to get out of there. Oh, no, he's not. He falls. <laughs> aren't going to capitalize on that. They're moving towards their teammates. Get back in their tank. Coach got the uh, pickup first. Oh, no, he goes for Rochelle. Very interesting. Yeah, I think he was just closer to Rochelle, but Rochelle and Keo able to get out of there. And it looks like they might survive this, actually. Although some support's going to land. The Charger is going to possibly get an end cap off that. Rochelle's trying to clear. Unable to. And now we get a pull onto one of the survivors. And now it's down to Keo versus the tank. And the tank instead's going to go for, for ZK. He's going to take that end cap. And Keo is desperately trying to get his team up oh. and back. Yeah, not much he could do there. He had to take that rock to get his teammate up. It was that or, you know, he gives up the fight right there. But either way, this is looking rough for Keyboard Warriors. Yeah, the timing was just a second too late on that rock, but Keo made the right call. He just, you know, held that E button and just took the damage for his team. Very nicely done. They still got three survivors. I mean, a lot of in-caps going out, but this tank still hasn't wiped, unfortunately. The Charger goes in, I mean, Hunter goes in, gets skied very nicely by Ellis, and now this tank, I mean, I think he's down to his last legs, only 400 HP, although a Jockey does manage to land onto Rochelle. The clear was a bit late on that. The Boomer does get a boom onto Coach, but he's going to run on out of there. He's not going to take any rocks right now. And uh, this tank doesn't have a lot left, just 100 HP. He's still going for one last YOLO rock, but it hits the pillar. <laughs> Yeah, so now the survivors are going to push probably their last cannon. It's going to be tough for them to get any more after this one, I think. But that's still points. I, I don't remember how many points a cannon's worth exactly, but if they get that, that's still, it's something. It's better than, than nothing, obviously. But man, how lucky was MSB to get that tank spawn so close to the survivors and able to push in you know, so quickly? Absolutely. I don't think the survivors had any idea he was that close. Ellis and Nick, I don't think, even turned around right when that tank walked into them and got two double punches. That was incredible. Yeah, it's but, almost like, how could you expect that, though? Like, you hear the tank spawn, right? And you just probably assume he's above you somewhere. Like, you, you don't really assume, like, oh, he's right around the corner. Mm. Yeah, I'm definitely guilty of doing that myself. Sometimes I'll hear a boom or a jockey, and I'll be like, oh, it's above. No, it's right behind you. 
So I, I've definitely been on the receiving end of those kinds of things. The sound in this game is the, a bit hard to pinpoint. Regardless, the Smoker does get an in-cap onto Nick. Charger goes in but whiffs, and the Jockey is trying to capitalize onto Rochelle again, but gets shut down. Come on, come on, on your feet! Yes, they've got... Sorry, they've got 10 of the 13 cans, and they do not have a lot of health, and they're going to go for this one here. In the, and they still have that one uh, set of two back there. Absolutely, but right now, Nock is on his is black and white. We've also got Slay black and white on one HP. Literally anything will down him at this I mean, will kill him at this point. That's an in-cap onto ZK. Boomer goes in, also lands. Looks like the rest of the infected are gonna try and get KO. They do get the scratch down, and now it's all down to Nick. Can he survive this? Wow, he doesn't manage to get scratched by this feather. He's trying to get this pick up on KO. Nice steep. Well, not technically steep, but got the kill. He's gonna pick up KO, and I think ZK is just about dead. Is MSB gonna commit an, uh, a special to try and finish him off? Or? No, it's a smoker. Dang, I think they're going to wait for some more spawns. They got two. They're, looks like they want to go for it right now. And Oh, they picked the same target. Oh, but it doesn't matter. He gets the kill anyway. And, <laughs> and that'll be the wipe. So we see 10 cans get put in. And uh, yeah, about a 900 point difference here going into the, the last half of map four. All the pressure's on. We're going to see how keyboard warriors i think it's all going to come down to well i guess not i think this round has already proven that the first tank doesn't always determine how badly this round can go for the survivors regardless we're going to see who gets this tank we do have migo needing a restart so we do have a bit of a second to take a breather before this next round in fact i'm going to take a second to get a drink because uh throat's getting a little dry all right so yeah, I'll be I right will, back. I will hold down the four for you. Actually, now that we do have this bit of a pause in the game, shout outs to Vanille for streaming this match and to Rails for hosting this tournament. <laughs> Always good to watch some competitive Left 4 Dead 2. And I hope you all have enjoyed this match. Those of you who are watching, I have certainly enjoyed it and we're not even done. But yeah, this match been a lot closer than I think maybe some people expected. That being said, I'm curious to see if MSB chooses maybe a different sort of route for getting these cans. When Keyboard Warriors killed that first tank, it, it was kind of interesting. They went to the third floor and then dropped through the glass to get two cans on the second floor and then, you know, dropped immediately. So we're going to see if MSB maybe chooses to go for the other set of stairs and just grab those six cans, you know, on the second floor all in one go. Or do they go to, for the third floor and get those cans that are really far away? It's a bit of a tough call to make, but given that they're on such high ping, I would certainly just go for the six cans. But we shall see. All right, I'm back. Oh, perfect timing. I was just uh, sort of discussing like gas can routes out loud to myself. What do you think, Alexi? Would you, if you were Team MSB, like which route would you go for first? I like the idea of third floor first, because um, there's if you can you know get the third floor first and some of the hard second floor cans, you could you know possibly depending on what's going on, <clears throat> you could push cans during a tank fight. Right, like say tank goes for a rock, attack goes down. So now the tank has to kind of chill for a bit while his, his SI comes up. Mm. So you could use that time to kind of push cans if you wanted to. Um, you could play it safe, but it, it kind of depends on the situation. I mean, there could be times where the tank fight ends and then you're right next to that second floor staircase. So maybe you're just like, hey, go for those real quick. But I think... And now I'm and I'm I'm no scavenge player. I never <laughs> I haven't played this map seriously in a very long time. But um that's what kind of makes sense to me, but I could definitely see some other some other ideas being better than that. Mm. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Uh I am I think I've played maybe <laughs> I've only played so many like scavenge games that I can count on one hand. And this map is definitely not one of my favorites. I've not played this very many times. Uh, if it were me, I kind of prefer getting those second floor cans, the six ones that are like, you know, 
the easiest to get first. But that's partly like due to, again, my inexperience with gas can for now is I'd just like to get as many as I can. And given that they're on high ping, I think that's the safer choice. But yeah, we'll see depending on maybe the situation and what team and MSB decides. Yeah, and it, it depends too on the game situation, right? I mean, you're right. If you're on your away server, you know, maybe you're more interested in getting, you know, as many cans as you can before you wipe as opposed to trying to make it with a lot of, you know, bonus or whatnot. So right. it, could, it could make sense that, hey, you know, let's just go get all the second floor cans, get all the first floor cans. So that way, at the very least, we tie them. You know, we can get our 10 cans and the finale was a draw on our away game. Right. And like what you mentioned earlier is also worth uh, considering. Maybe MSB doesn't really have their gas count routes set in stone per se. They may just decide, eh, whatever stairwell we're closer to or just whatever the, the shock caller is feeling, they may just go for like the, you know, either floor and maybe just on a whim. But we'll see. We also now have SZ leaving the game. Not sure if he needs a restart as well. But uh, while we're taking... All right, Vanille's going to tab out for a bit. Uh, while we're taking this, is there anything uh, you would like to say <laughs> prior to this uh, home game ending? Um, I didn't know this was a two-game. <laughs> That's really all I got. I thought both teams were South American for the most part. I knew... I think MSB was like half South Americans, half Americans. I didn't realize people in chat were talking about, I guess people in Peru just have really bad routing to Brazil, which I didn't know. So, uh, yeah. yeah, the infrastructure is not there. Yeah. So I'll, I'm curious to see what it's going to be like on, like, what's the home server like for MSB? Like, is it in North, is it in you know, the United States? Is it, you know, like in Mexico or something? Like, I, I don't know. So, It'll be interesting to see what the pings are like on our our next game. Yeah, that will be interesting. And one thing, like I know, Sir has been sort of changing around the locations and whatnot of his servers, but I'm not sure how many options there are for South Americans because the only one I'm aware of is you know they've got that Brazil like those Brazil servers, but I'm not sure if there's any others. Like <laughs> this is the first time hearing about a Mexico server. I didn't know that was a thing. If it is. And I got someone in the chat saying, dumb caster, Peru is from <laughs> Brazil. And sure, that's true, but people in Los Angeles don't have 200 ping to New York server. And I think that's also fairly fair. Yeah, the issue is that, like, again, I don't know too much about, like, you know, ISPs and whatnot, but I think the issue there is that Brazil is, like, sort of, it, it's kind of a, geographically an interesting country because you've got you know the east coast which is where all the big cities are like rio and whatnot but then as you move for the west it's just jungle like lots and lots of jungle and it's damn near impassable so i don't think there's any you know like you know i don't think any isps out there like really try and work through there and get the connection so peru to brazil or brazil to any like western country in south america i don't think the connections are super great there and it's not like a distance thing it's a geography thing at least in my mind yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm sure it's something like that. Either way, I mean, I love home and away and playing the same match twice. And that's really <laughs> really one of my my most favorite things to do. Would you Would you like to hear a funny fact, uh, Alexi? I've never played home and away. The only competitive matches I've played so far have always just been one game. You, so I guess I'm somewhat blessed in that respect. You lucky, you lucky <laughs> gamer. You sweet uh, summer child. <laughs> uh, I guess we can take this time to talk about next week. Next week is going to be Parish. And I know we've got some some pretty big games coming up next oh. week as far as, you know, playoff implications and whatnot. And I think Parish is one of those games, or one of those maps, I'm sorry, that you know a lot of people are, you know, real familiar with. I think opposed to a map like Dead Center where it doesn't get, you know, near the playtime that Parrish does. Yeah. You know, we'll just we'll see people, you know, just way more familiar and way more comfortable as far as what they want to do. Should lead to some much closer maps, you know, some real nail biters cuz like you mentioned the the Dead Center finale not to like downplay either like any teams in this tournament, but 
I feel like most versus players here don't really know what they're doing in this map when it comes to getting those cans. It's just kind of like a, it's just a mess, really. <laughs> Which means that most matches are usually decided in the earlier chapters, and maybe like you know some like crazy wipe from the early tank. But I think Parish, you know, like you mentioned, it's a map that more players, you know, pl players play it more often. They're much more familiar with the strategies, are much more established and whatnot usually leads to much closer games. At least that would be my expectation. Maybe not closer, but at least, you know, fewer mistakes. People are just more comfortable playing. You know, Dark Carnival, Parish, and Hard Rain are like the three most played maps pretty much, right? So those are the ones you kind of expect everyone to be most comfortable with, and, you know, they can kind of react the best to it. Um, but we'll see. We are getting close to playoff time, which will be interesting. Mm. Um, I haven't taken a real close look at the standings just yet to see, you know, what else going on. Um, I've been kind of waiting for this week to end, and then I'll take a look at it. I know Rails, Rails has the he'll have the pairings ready to go, like almost right, like right after this game concludes. So of course. that'll be fun. That's always nice. Um, we are possibly trying to get a a show match here coming up between two particular teams. Uh, what do and you mean by a show match? Like an exhibition game, or basically like a a stream scrim is is what it is. They used gotcha. to be a little more popular back in the day. I don't think I've seen like a show match in a long time. Mm, but, I mean, uh, yeah, this is the first I'm hearing about it. But yeah, I knew. we've. We've got a we've got what could be a fun idea for one, but I won't tell you who it is because it's like it's really top secret, man. Oh, the marketing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, it could be fun. I don't know. It'll be interesting, I think, if the teams want to, do it and we can get the server to happen. And yeah, so what what are we waiting for? Because I want you to get a drink, and nothing has happened. Well, Migo restarted, and now it seems like we've got some random in here, Levi. The players are asking him to leave, but this guy's saying he wants to take a screenshot? I don't... Yeah, okay, he's gone. I, I don't know what that was about. I think maybe Migo is still restarting, or maybe he just can't get in, but he is out of there, so we will see. That's really important for his clout, you know, to come into a Left 4 Dead 2. Of course, and... it's like a next level photo bomb. Wait, and... is this Yosuke? I don't. Is this Migo? I I'm don't confused. Know <laughs> it looks like the players are they're going for it. Okay, we have maybe Migo with a new name. I'm not really sure. Christ. Last second ringer. Smoker goes for a pull. Hunters go for the scratches. They go down, but it's pretty decent damage on the Ryan. I'd say the boomer somehow doesn't land. Wow, they were so close to the survivors. That's very strange. But that's the first hit shut down without incident. Do you guys want a puck? We're casting a match, Queen. Get out. I think it's I think it's another player on the roster. I think they just subbed someone out. I think behind me goes. Me goes MIA. No, it looks that way. Uh yeah, his name does not match any of the players on the list, but I mean I think it's Peanut looking at his aliases. I think he's on yeah, he is. There we go. Okay. That's the name I was looking for. Yeah, I was very confused for a second there. Well, looks like we have a last second sub for MSB. That's not going to help their ping whatsoever, apparently. But we do have the next tank up. Smoker Jockey, Hunters go in. Oh my goodness, they light a cannon. That's a bit unfortunate. A little bit of extra damage there. This tank is up in the hands of Slay. He's already going to start moving around. Let's see where he takes this. Is this tank looking kind of laggy to you? Or is that he just is. Yeah, he is ice skating. That's very strange. Uh, I'm not sure if that's on my end. My ping is 150, but... Hmm. Yeah, I think this might be us, or maybe just a server-wide thing. What's our ping looking like? Let me just take a quick look. I think it's just me. Well, regardless, the tank is looking like he's going to take the opposite angle for these rocks. But as far as taking the same area, that rock came dangerously close to landing. Watch yourselves, MSP. Yeah, they're gonna play this in that same spot, and they do have the uh, 
on Silence Uzi Switch do quite a they do quite a bit of damage from distance and that tank is already down, you know, yeah. three hundred and twenty health. Or I'm sorry. Mm. Math is hard. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they could you know if the tank's gonna you know go for that that site in those rocks, they could definitely do some nice chip onto him before the commit and that'll definitely help with their high ping. Yeah, these rocks are so close but just not quite accurate enough. And that's Slay on his second pass. This is going to be a commit tank, so it's all going to be down to uh, you know how well he plays this out. We're going to see where exactly he chooses to jump down from. Looks like, yeah, he's just going to jump. My goodness, he is lagging. But yeah, it looks like he's going to go around and try and jump right on top of the survivors. And yeah, MSP is already moving. They're going to take it out in front of the car. And yeah, this tank's just kind of playing like a little game of ring around the rosy with him. He's not really sure where he's committing from. Yeah, you got to get in there, buddy. It'll be fun to see. Is he gonna just like teleport in someone's face and land on the <laughs> Well, he gets a nice free rock on the coach. Two boom lands on the coach and Nick. And Tank's gonna turn around. He doesn't manage to get the punch on the Nick. He's gonna throw another free rock. Misses Ellis, but a jockey did land on the coach. And they're not quite getting that clear, but they do get it at the very last second. Charger goes in onto Rochelle, but whiffs. Another free rock, misses, and that's a dead tank. Yeah, pretty solid take there. Uh, not, you know too much damage but again this map will play out is you know we can start going in you know are the, are the common gonna beat them up are they gonna be able to get the cans in you know what exactly is going to happen looks like msb is looking for these nice easy second floor cans first spit goes down but they get three of those cans out of there that's gonna be a nice amount of bonus if they can get these in but they've already got a smoker spawning up top charge spawning down below nice take onto rochelle Nick gets pulled, but gets cleared. Yeah, those Uzis are doing, uh, you know, a great amount of work for Team MSV. One thing worth mentioning, uh, Zone Mod 1.93, the SMG has got a bit of a rebalancing. The SMG, the unsilenced SMG, is crazy accurate, but not too strong, whereas the Suzy is very inaccurate, but extremely strong. So I definitely approve of uh, MSV taking, just spamming the SMG here, because, you know, such long, big open area with long distances, really nice to get those clears when your team may be kind of separated. Yeah, they've been riding the four Uzi train for a lot of this campaign, and it's it's really served them well. Regardless, we do have a nice two cap landing, one Hunter landing up top and one down below onto Ellis, but they do get cleared. Survivors have taken this, I would say, about as well as you could ask for right now. They've, what are they loading in? Looks like six more cans that they're moving towards this car. They should be able to get at least three in before this next hit goes in. Yeah, and it looks like any cans even spawn on third floor. I thought, to, I like it. They get them already. No, they went straight for the second floor. And you know, now that you mention it, I That's don't what I see any cans on the third floor. Did they just luck out? That's incredible. I thought there were some last. I don't know. I I wasn't paying attention. I admit it. I'm sorry. I'm a bad caster. <laughs> well, but, regardless. Yeah. Reloading. Oh, sorry. You know. The farthest cans here are going to be on the second floor, but there are those cans where, you know, you have to go on the third floor and then drop. But it's not a big ask right now. They've still got what, four pills between them and two extras in the safe room area or the information kiosk. So, yeah, this is looking like MSB might just make it with bonus, which would be incredible, honestly. Yeah, if they can keep what they've got or close to it for this tank fight, they'll definitely have, you know, a good chance at, you know, killing that second tank and then you know, making this finale, and that would be huge. You know, they could, they've got a lot of bonus right now, so they could, you know, possibly win uh, on their way. Yeah, a bit of a Cassius Coast going, curse going out there. They get took a nasty two cap right when I said that, and Nick gets charged by himself. It's gonna be one pound, two pound, three pounds. Double boom landing onto Rochelle and Ellis while they're trying to get up there and clearing that charger. That's an in-cap. That's going to definitely throw a wrench in things, but they're still sitting pretty. They still got those extra pills, one extra pills, at the information kiosk, but the second tank has now spawned in the hands of Slay again. Interesting. And he's, he'd spawn right next to them. Oh, he's just going to go right in. Oh, this is revenge. <laughs> and we have a pause. <laughs> we have a... A tactical timeout. Oh no! Oh, that's really bad. Someone crashed. Oh no! Who is it? It's Ellis. Yikes. Hmm. He is the farthest from the tank, but I mean that's still like nice commit range right there. He's in such a great position. And yeah. there's a boomer spawn in the closet. I'm not sure if any of the survivors are aware of that. I'm not sure how quickly that spawned before the 
the uh, boom. Yeah, this is not a great time for the survivors. It's not going to be fun. <laughs> well, especially if he, um, if he loads in and he gets stuck for a little bit. I mean, either way, like this is looking bad. Like this tank, I think there's what three guys in that right corner where that gas can is. I think. Yeah. So I mean, the tank can cut them off. They're gonna have to either just brawl with them right there, or they might just drop on the floor, take some fall damage. I don't know. This just went from, you know, looking good for MSB to not so good again. Another, another really fortunate tank spawn for the infected on this floor. Yeah, I mean, if I were the tank, I would definitely just take it straight to the right, maybe see if that boomer can just hold up uh, Rochelle. Although she does have a melee weapon. I think it's all going to be down to... Um, who is this player? They've had their name just, like, six vertical lines. So I'm not really sure who that is, but I think it's going to be mostly their job to try and you know, melt down this tank. Yep, he's going to go straight to the right, pushes right into Coach, punches him way the hell out of there. And now he's going to get a nice double onto Ellis and Nick. Misses the second, uh, the third punch, however. Gets another punch onto Nick. Uh, Charges ready for the pickup. Oh my god, he chest bumps Nick off! But the tank's going to go in. There's also a smoker pulling Rochelle. Coach isn't able to get that clear from down there, and the tank's going to push in. That's the wipe. Oh no. Hello? There it is. <laughs> So, interesting, interesting first game. We got only a, no, not even a 400 point deficit. So I think at this point, you know, MSB is looking like the favorites to pull this off. But, Absolutely. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, as you mentioned, both teams are uh, accustomed, shall we say, to playing on high ping. So we're going to see how much that serves them. But I mean, 400 point loss on your away game with like that kind of ping, uh, I would be pretty satisfied with that. So we are going to see, I think KO said go NA right before he left. I'm not exactly sure, but it yeah, looks like it is yeah. going to be an NA game, which uh, hopefully I'm not going to see any more ice skating tanks in that. I mean, if that guy was ice skating on his home server, I can only imagine that's <laughs> not that's not gonna change on the But yeah, I imagine they're gonna get another server up and uh we will be back shortly with the same exact thing you just saw, <laughs> except the except the other team has looked <laughs> guess while we take this little quick breather, it is worth mentioning. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, both of these teams are 2-1 and one so far. Each one has won a game by forfeit. You know, the other team not showing up, which means that the winner of this game will be going into the next round of Swiss 3-1, and one, and the other will be going away 2-2. Two and two. Which means, I believe, one of these teams will be playing against my team, Swift Lasagna. Hmm. Possibly. I mean, that is definitely a, a possibility. But I tell you what, you're going to find out in about an hour because Rails Barlow, he's ready to go. Mm. <laughs> At least I hope because I, I feel kind of bad if I'm saying that and he's actually like, no, nah, I'm going to go to bed. I'll, I'll post it in the morning. No one cares. <laughs> well, he is on Spanish time right now. It's true. Anyways, not sure. Did they say which server they were going to be going, getting in on? Uh, no. Hey. I'll, I'll, I'll join off one of them. I think it looks like I used to go there when I was a kid. So join off her. Now we can die there as adults. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Stop shooting me. I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick and take a potty break. I'll be right back. Roger. At least one small benefit of home and away games means that you get to see the same map, but with hopefully different tank spawns. So maybe I think while well, we had that really boring second tank, hopefully the tank spawns in a much more interesting spot on map two. That would certainly be enjoyable, but we'll see. Oh, he ain't coming back. 
Anyways. Gotta agree. Let's follow them to the mall. Hey, everybody grab something. I think we got some killing to do. Oh yeah. I keep forgetting there's another caster in here. Did the server crash? Yeah. All right, I'm back. What's up? The uh, server crashed while they're loading up the config. Nice. Yeah. So out of curiosity, Alexi, you are one of like the co-TOs in this tournament, right? Uh, yeah. So like we've got a Chinese caster with us, I think. Are there other like other language casts out of curiosity? Um there's been one or two Spanish casts, I believe. I think I saw them. Um I think there's been a Russian cast or two. I know Owen has been doing a lot of casting. I think I think someone said he just records the demos and then uploads them later, I think. Oh, so he's not streaming right now. I don't know. I I've only spoke with him briefly. There was a game. I think it was actually between Keyboard Warriors and Team Disabled, where he kind of helped translate. For me. Real nice guy. I I don't know where he streams or uploads videos to, but I know he is he is doing some casting. Gotcha. Um, That's very cool. I've been told he uploads to a site called Billy Billy B I L I B I L I. Hmm. And he has a pretty decent following, from what I, I've been told. Very interesting. So that's pretty cool. I'm, you know, that's, that's pretty cool to see people in other regions, you know, and doing those kinds of things. And I think he just kind of, you know, started, I don't know if Rail spoke with him beforehand, but he's just been kind of taking the initiative and just, you know, casting as many games as he can. Hats off to him. More representation is always good. Yeah, and we get, you know, that big-time Chinese audience, dude. We're going big-time. <laughs> the sponsorships. <laughs> They're going to be rolling in. Oh, dude, give me some Mountain Dew. Oh, my goodness. Did the server just crash again? Some technical difficulties right now. So uh, one thing I mentioned while you were a rail, Alexi, is that if I'm not mistaken, when you're playing a home and away game, the tank spawns aren't the same as the first match, right? No, they should get set to the same. Really? Yeah, the oh. the spawns should be set to the same, and then um, your roster is supposed to stay the same as well. That way, you don't you know use you don't have like a like a for example like a North American like an EU like roster. So I think that actually people tried pulling that a while back right you have some subs who you can like pull out so they get the good ping or whatever yeah so yeah you're supposed to try to keep everything because the whole, the whole idea behind it is you try to keep things as similar as possible and it's tough to do you know there's there's so many variables in the game still even with all the changes and even you know with the home and away you know something gotcha. as simple as like a horde spawning from like the right direction like during a tank could wipe you on one game and then oh well, like take this finale for example right like if if those tanks spawn in different areas you know on this next game like that could completely you know throw <laughs> throw the game in the whack and who knows what would happen right and yeah it's not really ideal like you know i don't think anyone is like oh yeah man i can't wait to play home and away like ideally it would be you know one game with you know good balance pings but you work with what you got, right? Yeah. It's so the thing about Left 4 Dead. It's kind of like Rummy or, I don't know, Mahjong for those Chinese viewers. Like, it's, it's, it is a game of skill, but there's also a lot of chance involved. And you just kind of got to take things as they come. Yeah. So you just, you mean, just do what you can. And that's why whenever it comes to scheduling... You know, we always prefer teams play, you know, one match if they can. You know, I, I think, you know, both teams playing with 200 ping is better than taking turns beating up on each other, I think. Absolutely. 
And really, ideally, it would be, hey, you guys both play, and you both have, like, 50 ping. But <laughs> that doesn't really happen very often. We can't always get what we want. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's that or... There, you know, there probably wouldn't really be many tournaments if this format was Although I would be interested to see, you know, <clears throat> like how many teams could could you get if every, like every so often you had like a like a regional tournament, right? Would mm -hmm. you be able to get enough teams to play? And not like every tournament, like, you know, maybe once, twice a year, you know. You know, are there enough people pugging they would be interested in saying, hey, you know what, yeah, let's play in this. It's going to be all all in my region, all in my times, you know, and then then maybe they make the jump to playing the international stuff. You know, I, I have no idea if the player base is there, but that could be kind of interesting. Uh, I see MSBSZ is in U.S. East number nine. I'm with him right now. Don't yeah, let's say it out loud. Down. Whoops. Great. My bad. Right now, someone's using his mom's credit card to buy servers to DOS people. <laughs> oh, God. It's so sad that that's not even, like, a joke. Someone just left their Fortnite game to attack the <laughs> server. I bet, he's, uh -oh. I bet he's flossing right now as he watches the server crash. <laughs> Uh, I apologize. <laughs> Should have messaged that, or let you just join off me. I mean, honestly, it's not <laughs> it's not really that hard to find it. Dude. I'm sure anyone who cares enough to do such a thing would would be able to. Well, isn't that the benefit of these? Uh, what is it, Virginia servers? They have better I, uh, DDoS I, protection, I think, was the reasoning. I don't know. I, I heard know. that somewhere. Is that because Virginia is where the FBI is at? Oh, yeah, Lang Langley. Wow, there's a conspiracy. The FBI is hosting Left 4 Dead 2 eSport servers. Because we're a serious eSport. We made <laughs> Crab Rave theme music, please. <laughs> yes. Finally, Donald Trump did something for us gamers. <laughs> I could just imagine a tweet where he shouts us out and somehow misspells Left 4 Dead. <laughs> Anyways, do we know who... Oh, I was already... <laughs> As the people join in, uh... Same tank spawns. So I guess there's not too much variety in that respect. But I don't know. How do you think this game may differ from the first game, Alexi? Uh, I mean, I initially want to say that we'll probably see a bigger score difference for the home team. But I just, I haven't, I haven't joined server yet. I just caught a glimpse of the ping. Maybe it's not. I, I don't know. It's going to be the same, except one team has better ping. I mean, MSB's ping is, you know, in the yellow and looks like Migo's got green ping and Keyboard Warriors are, yeah, 100, uh, I need 150 a, plus each. I need a slaughter. This guy needs to leave. Oh, you're not in either? Vanille had to BRB. Uh, yeah, tell those kids to get out of here so I can... Or really, more importantly, Vanille can join and then... That way people can see things and then I'll hop in. Yeah, I'm trying to get rid of these specs right now. Oh my gosh. Did they? What? <laughs> I think they almost tried. I don't think they almost kicked me, though. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I think you guys should be able to join now. Yeah. Awesome. And I'm going to try and reconnect really fast so I can get my caster HUD to work. Yeah, no, I mean, this game will it'll play out 
you know, pretty similar to last time. I think the biggest difference is, you know, now MSB has a slight advantage. Like, pings aren't really great for them either, for, you know, considering it's a home game. Um, you know, maybe during that game, that last game, the teams picked up on some tendencies of their opponents that they might try to game plan for. But I think, you know, at some point, MSB's likely to take the lead, right? Because they were only down by like 400. So we might see them, or we might see Keyboard Warriors be a little more aggressive, you know, be a little riskier, try to make some, some bigger plays to, you know, not only maintain that lead, but hopefully extend it. Uh, especially before the finale, because that finale has to be tough when you have, you know, almost 200 ping. And are Absolutely. we are we are we all good? Oh, we're going live. Right. I believe we are. We're going live. MSB on the survivor side. Keyboard warriors on the infected. They've got a jockey hunter, spitter hunter for this very first hit. Gonna see how they take this first one. We've got Nick with the shotgun, Ellos with the Susie. Rochelle covering them from behind with dual pistols and coach blocking spawns in the safe. They're spawning in. Nice keep right out of the gate by Nick. Jockey also gets, oh my goodness, a hunter landed on coach up top and no one is covering him so much damage on Domingo. He's already down 33 HP. Yikes. Was there, did the spit spread to that like top part of the ladder or did they just like not try to go get him? Uh, I would assume the spit spread up there. I didn't have time to see it. I thought it was cause... down low. Like they just, it looked like they were all just looking at him and they're like, ah, screw it. I'm not going <laughs> to. <laughs> <laughs> that was interesting. Yikes. And now Slade's going to get his third tank in a row for Keyboard Warriors. Lucky guy. Well, this could be big, too. If he's going to be all laggy, you know, now he's laggy with super long arms. And mm. this is definitely the map where you want to have a, a wipe. Like, they, I mean, they could wipe MSB and they only get 26 points. And then, you know, Keyboard Warriors could, you know, make safe room and, you know, score five, 600 points. That's a scary thought if you're Keyboard Warriors. Looks like they just want the right SI. One of those hunters went in for some scratches just to die really fast. It's like, what is he going to work with? It's going to get a hunter, jockey, and maybe something else. I'm interested to see what kind of positioning MSB chooses to take. They've already got Nick sitting on one of those vents with the shotgun. Looks like, yeah, Ellis is taking some aggressive chip right there, and now he's going to run onto the vents. But Tank gets an immediate punch right into Coach. Double punch right there. One more punch to in-cap Coach, and he gets it down in the stairwell. That's a horrible place to be. Right now, the, the Infector going in all on the other oh, side. Oh, it's a that wipe! Incredible wipe. My oh, goodness. wow, dude. Dude, I don't know what happened there with, uh, was it Coach Miko? He was right next to the door. I think his plan was to take his pills late and then just try to mail it, try to murder the tank from behind. Because he just sat there, like, in the tank. Yeah. Just saw him and started punching him. And then he got the pills off, but wow. He took that early in cap in the tank. I mean, the tank still has good health after this fight's over and the support landing, and that is, that's exactly what you need if you're Keyboard Warriors, because now you have the chance to go from a 400 point lead, and now you can extend it. You know, now you can, you can kick it up to like a thousand points, and there's only three maps left to make it up. And as we saw in the last game, you know, the finale can be, it can be a wash pretty easily. We could see both teams, you know, get nine, 10 cans, and it could really come down to maps two and three. and. You know, say they get that lead up to a thousand points, you know, two maps is not a lot of maps to make up a thousand point difference. If Absolutely. they do, if they get this map and they make safe. Also, got to take a real quick moment to acknowledge, I love the way the support all collapsed on the survivors from the opposite way that the tank was chasing them. Really nice coordination between uh, tank and support right there. So now it's all up to Keyword Warriors to not get wiped in the same fashion that MSB just did. Now got... Uh, who is this? Knock up ahead with the shotgun, getting covered by KO in the back with the Susie. Coach blocking the safe from spawn. Hopefully he doesn't just take a massive, like, a hunter to the face, like, damage to the face from that hunter. Yeah, the difference is they have Ellis up there blocking that in-between spawn, so that'll be tough. And both hunters are down in front, and as you said earlier, Knock is kind of leading the charge here. And, you know, he, I think he's probably the strongest player on his team, and he's going to have to have a big game if they're going to win this yeah, we're going to see what he can put together. All the SI are up ahead, and I'm pretty sure 
There is one hunter on the right that I don't think they've heard yet. He's still standing, but we're going to see if he can get some sort of crazy ski like the uh, Nick from the last round just got. He's going to push into this room here where he knows the first hunter is nice shutdown. Gets the jockey too and the hunter. Uh, yeah, your assessment was definitely correct. <laughs> Nock is putting in some work right now. The tank is now up. The survivors are going to go head on back inside for this fight. Tank's up in the hands of uh, Mr. Vertical Lines here. I forgot yeah, that Nock, <laughs> Nock just did 70% of the damage on that attack. So he definitely, definitely trying to lead his team to victory. And that was actually really, really scary timing there because there was a chance that the timer was going to go off and, you know, spawn a horde as he could have, like, went forward and gotten cat possibly. So he's able to not only get some kills, but then also the timer went, went away because he went forward. So very lucky there. And, yeah, well, see, this tank is going to be big. If this tank does not do well, you know, that definitely changes this game. He also doesn't have the greatest support setup in the world. Hunter, Hunter, and Jockey, I definitely would prefer a charger over one of those. But we're going to see what he managed to put together. Nice punch onto Ellis. Gets another one onto Ellis. This should be the corner. No, he punches him out of the way. Looks like he's going to be able to take those kills. The support is going in right now. Nick gets a nice skeet onto one. Tank is now punching Rochelle. That's two punches on him. One hunter lands onto Nick, but gets cleared. That should be the end cap onto Rochelle. But he's only got, what, 2,300 health left. Still uh, actually pretty decent. This tank, interesting commitment right there. Yeah, he's, he has decent health. I mean, he, he can possibly get something because there's just not a lot of damage being dealt out by survivors right now with their weapons. But either way, it bleeds them out a little bit, and we're going to kind of see the rest of the sub. And that's a really nice two cap, and we're going to see some more multi punches. You know, no, this could be a double end cap here. My god, double punch city. I think he got like three onto Nick and Rochelle right there. That's two end caps on this first tank. Not a wipe, but it's not, you know, not like the worst tank in the world here. Yeah, it's going to be tough, though. If if they can find some pills, you know, they can make safe room, and that alone is, you know, 500 points right there. And because, you know, their opponent scored 26, I mean, everything right now is, is going to help them extend that lead. So if they can make the safe room, you know, they're... Oh, wow. Looks like MSB defaulting to their earlier strategy. Jockey charge and spit onto Rochelle and Smoker in the back. Very nice damage going on right there. But those keyboard warriors are going to keep on pushing through. Every step they take is, you know, a little bit more lead, a little bit more points. But right now we're going to see uh, maybe they make it to the elevator and a little further ahead. That would be my expectation. Depends on where these extra pills spawn, I think. Yeah, and interestingly enough, the fire doors haven't been scratched up. Although Hunter's going to go for one. He's only going to get one and with their health situation, even even one fire door is going to push them outside. They just don't have the health to run through. And oh, the spitter goes for the second door and then dies on top of KO, but he did manage to get a nice keep before he went down. Slowly chipping away at this health. I just realized Nock is actually black and white. Nice charge going in, but avoids the double charge somehow. That's two in caps, but survivors should be able to get these two pickups without incident. Yeah, fortunate there that they don't take a death there. There are some pills up ahead. This, like, last room on the walkway has a set. Uh, oh, and the room before that has a set, too. So there's actually two pills available, and Rochelle is going to see the first. And, I mean, surely they'll see the next set. It's right in there. So that's big. That'll help them. And this next attack, oh, no, Nick's going to go down. And this hunter, the hunter just spawns against the chip, but he's going to land down. And if they get a two cap up front, that could be pretty bad, but... It's not going to matter. Oh, and Ellis is going to go down too, and that was Spinner. Uh, <laughs> These stumbles are unreal right now. Well, Ellis did manage to get the clear onto KO, but then got stumbled and cliffed. And now Coach is down from the spit. It's all down to the smoker. Can he get this pull onto KO? He does react in time, but he doesn't manage to cut that tongue. That smoker's going to get that pull back very quickly, and Nick is now dead. They're going to push into KO spit. What? He stumbled, like, in the wrong direction. That was crazy. <laughs> There's now a jockey trying to interrupt this pickup. It's all down to KO right now. He gets the M2. He's just playing ring around the rosy with this thing. Jockey's trying to, like, fake him out, going left and right. But now there's a charger waiting in the wings. Jockey's going to go in. He does manage to land. Wow. <laughs> Poor yeah. KO. Well, that was that was knock at the end. Knock is... Oh, my gosh. Just... I'm yeah, whoopsie do. <laughs> Nock fought as best as he could. 
But oh man, that's that's a missed opportunity. They had a chance to really, really put some points on, and just just unlucky to <clears throat> to get those you know those two uh, those two ledge hangs where they kind of stumbled off. And even that last in cap on the coach, I think he walked through like spit like the very last tick. Yeah, and it just happened to take him down. The spit does do like a ton of damage, you know, like right before it disappears. So the game kind of trolls you like that because not only is like the hitbox for the spit larger than it appears, and it does like a ton of damage if you misjudge it just by like a millisecond. You're like, okay, it's gone now, and then you walk in and you just take damage. That's well, those, those super have, annoying. Those have been fixed on the competitive configs. That um, is true. It's not vanilla spit. Yeah, vanilla does damage over time, and it's got the the wonky hitbox. And luckily, a while ago they they were able to fix the hitbox thing, and then you know, however many years back they changed the spit damage to like static. And I don't know the values of zone mod. I don't know if it switches between like two and three damage a tick, or if it's just one value. But it's definitely you know much more consistent than you find playing you know vanilla versus. Mm. The boomer does manage to get a crazy tri boom in there, but the survivors aren't going to push out into that. So now MSP's got Charger Smoker Hunter. I'm going to see if they can maybe put something a little better together now that they're on their home server. Last time, like I think the first like three hits or so on this map, they did hardly anything. Looks like they are going in now. That's a quad, but the first hunter got shut down, so which means no wipe today. The smoker does get a brief pull, and the charger does get a punch, but that's it. Yeah, and they're looking good after that first hit, but that first hit, it, it's tough. You know, not a whole lot comes down. And the tank is, I mean, it's pretty close to what we had last game. I don't, I mean, I don't think anyone... Reloading. I feel like maybe I should make, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a caster tonight, that's it. Right? Talk, talk to Rails if you have a problem. Compartmentalize, you know, you can only do so much at one time. I have a, I have a biased opinion because I'm casting, so I, can, <laughs> I cannot say anything. But that is a nice little, a nice little hit. A uh, little two boom, a little bit of pull damage there on the Kyo. Uh Probably isn't going to slow them down too much, you know, as the, the common kind of funnel through what's kind of a choke point, kind of, sort of. A little bit, yeah. And they're gonna push out, and the back of this truck has a the back of the box truck has a chrome, and the red pickup has a oh another shotgun. So they've got three Uzis. They may they may have to switch the shotguns at some point just because of ammo concern. Yeah, but these survivors are definitely gonna want to hang on to these SMGs as much as they can in this big open area. Also, they may be still hoping to maybe play this tank aggressive and just try and like. You know, get in his face with those SMGs. That seems to be a really popular strategy. Nice double cap landing onto Ellis and Rochelle. And the Charger gets a ch charge onto Ellis and the Jackie lands onto Rochelle. Very nice hit. That was a ton of damage in such an open area. Yeah, that was unlucky. Um, at the same time, though, they they have enough health to make this map at this point. You know, assuming the tank fight goes well. And that's probably what they're most concerned with. You know, it's, it's having one guy bleed. It, it, it It's not good, but it, it's not, you know, at the end of the... Yeah, especially since you know there's going to be some pills up ahead, so it's all down to this tank fight. Looks like Keyboard Warriors are going to take it around this van area. Not going to try and run it back like last time. But we'll see what Migo manages to put together as this tank. Incredible rocket boom lands onto Nick, but uh, that's about it. We've also got a smoker up ahead trying to get a pull onto Rochelle. Does manage to get it. The tank's going to try and rock that. Doesn't land, but the jockey does land onto Rochelle. That's going to put her slow. Now takes going for another free rock. Just barely hit misses Alice, but that smoker is still up. He's gonna have his pullback soon. We're gonna see how, you know, how much he chooses to wait. The survivors right now don't seem to be wanting to push this tank too much. Yeah, you were right. Some of them are gonna start grabbing those shotguns. It's it's too risky to push this tank with the smoker up and that hittable. It's tough to it's tough to work the hittable here with the guardrails and stuff. But they they can't risk too much here because they're already. You know, they're not behind yet, but they are almost essentially at a deficit. Well, another single boom lands onto Coach, and these survivors are doing their best to chip this tank, but without all four of them, you know, having a really good side of the tank, it's pretty hard to do. Migos is making good use of these bushes right here. They don't really block the bullets all that well, but it is just kind of hard to see the tank. It's kind of running around, throwing these free rocks. Don't know if he's going to be able to get to use that hittable again. It's kind of in a nasty spot now. 
this boomer here is going to be important. He's looking for that that rocket spawn and survivors are spread out pretty far. But he might get oh he gets one off the B hop, so he will get that proxy. And that's just <laughs> this is a really interesting tank fight. It's a lot of uh, ring around the rosy and the common just trying to do what they can. Oh, and Rochelle almost eating that car, but now Rochelle has a bigger problem with the tank right in her face. And we're going to see, I don't know who that is, someone's getting jockeyed over there, and Nock is going to go down here. And the tank probably isn't going to be around much longer, hopefully, if you're keyboard warriors. Nice dodge on the rock, but the charger does manage to land onto Ellis. I mean, Nick gets two pounds right there. Another rock just barely misses Ellis, but that is a dead tank. I mean... I don't know. That was that was such a funny tank fight. It feels like both teams just like didn't really have the things that they wanted to work with. I think those survivors really wanted to play that tank aggressive, but knew they couldn't. And Migo really wanted to play aggressive with his hittable, but also couldn't. It was very interesting to watch. Yeah, it was a lot of both teams, you know, trying to make a play and then just adapting to the situation. And Keyboard Warriors gets out of that fight with really just one end cap, and they do lose all their pills. But, you know, they can still... Well, this is going to be a big hit here. Yeah. Alright, so... <laughs> it just got a little bit tougher now that one of their fast guys, or their high prone health guys, is now, you know, in the red. Um, there is, I think, just one set of pills in this box. And they're not going to do too much shopping down below. Although, no. Oh, no, Coach does find a set. Wow, everyone ran by him, but Coach, Coach snags it. So, that is going to help. And if they can get through here, like, there shouldn't be a lot of damage coming from this hit here. Especially without, you know, like a charger with a spit could do something, maybe? Well, they're throwing it in anyway. The hunter lands on the coach just for a second. The spit goes down. It's going to be a little bit of extra damage on the ZK. Oh, a lot of extra damage. That spit spread was really unfortunate. And he had the most H uh, perm health, but he does manage to hold on to quite a bit of it. He's got the majority and maybe one more set of pills in the gun shop or up ahead. But the survivors are still in an okay position so far. They're definitely going to have to play a little bit faster than they would probably like, but we'll see if they can manage to make this safe. Yeah, there is one set of pills right here at the base of the stairs. And, this, oh, they're going to send this attack in here in just a second. The boomer could be big here. He's only going to get one, but it's onto Ellis. And no slam there, which is going to be key. So it, it's, it's going to be tough, this event, because they've, they've gone through you know most of their their pills that they found so far and there's one more set in the gun shop so they're they're gonna pause they're gonna talk about it <laughs> but uh yeah they're, it's very likely they're gonna have one guy slow for the event which isn't the end of the world i mean they they could you know hold it out at the cop car and just say hey you know what we're just gonna take our chances with bleed and shutting the attacks down and just try to get that map distance you know yeah, hopefully these teams have learned from their previous experience in the last match and they don't just all get scratched down right around this area. The Hunter does manage to land onto Nick just for a second. Spick goes down onto Nick as well, but he manages to get out of there. The Hunter is going to... I mean, the Smoker's looking for a pull, but Ellis jumps down. The Charger whisks onto Rochelle. The Smoker does get a last second pull onto Nick and gets cleared. Oof. Survivors are going to push on through into the gun shop going to start this event and it's just a question of you know KO's low, Slay's low although he's hanging on to pills. You just got to focus on keeping those survivors not within scratch range, not all within scratch range at the same time because that's kind of what condemned both of these teams last match. Single boom lands onto Ellis, Charger goes in onto Nick and manages to land but gets cleared before it gets to any slams. The Jockey goes in but gets picked and the Spitter gets shot. Yeah, they have way more health now than they did last time. And they're, they're not going to in-cap Slay, which might actually be okay. It's really going to depend of, you know, where he, he's, he's going to go down during this event. He has one health, like that's a given. It's a matter of, you know, where does he go down and does it create a real bad situation for his team? So it looks like they've tossed the can up and they want to fall back to that cop car. So there goes the in-cap onto Slay and it's kind of kind of an inconvenient spot that charges a big deal but slay is getting pretty low on health so they've got to they're not going to get to him in time maybe now he's dead oh no well ko is now within scratch range any common might be able to down him but 
Yeah, ZK doesn't even care. He's just gonna go for that uh, Coca-Cola can, but the Smoker's already ready for him. He's... They've got to be aware of that. He's gonna look for that kind of reset pull. Uh, he moves forward and goes for it, but yeah, the Survivors are just gonna keep on waiting out this event. They're down a Survivor, but, you know, it's still a big open area. It's not, you know, super hard to shut down hits as long as you, uh, you know, manage to clear them. Rochelle gets pulled, and Coach just barely lands the M2, but the Hunt is going in. That's a wipe again. <laughs> Oh man, I don't know what it is about this map, but like both teams just can't seem to be able to make this event. Yeah, I mean, it's if you look at what happened on our on the other server, uh, the home team just took so much damage during tank that it was just unlikely they were going to make it. And you know, now we're going to see the home team play here. It's you know, anytime you're throwing common in and you've got high ping, you know, it definitely adds a layer of defense. Absolutely. We've now got MSB on the survivor side. Keyboard Warriors on the infected. We're gonna see if maybe they can get some nice multi cap on this first hit. We've already got the Hunter pre spawn behind the Cedar trailer up ahead. Looks like the Charger and Boomer are going in from above, and the Smoker's gonna spawn up ahead from where the survivors are gonna push. I think, yeah, both teams are like just. They've got to be aware that they always just push immediately to the right. Hunter goes in, lands onto Rochelle, Charger lands on on Coach, gets a single pound. I think the Smoker doesn't manage to land on anything. The Boomer lands a single boom and looks like he's gonna run in there and get and you know get himself killed. Pretty decent hit, I would say, for the first. I think that's the most damage we've seen so far. Yeah, I think you're right. And you know, again, nothing substantial. Uh, definitely more than you'd want to take on that attack. But again, you know. The, We'll see what happens during this tank fight. You know, this could definitely be, you know, with the hittable, depending on, you know, if they go back, you know, they could wipe and we could have ourselves, you know, a, a very interesting map three. Oh, the Charger does manage to get a single pound in. The Hunter got a bit of damage up above on the guy in the back. But again, not a ton to speak of, although they are all within, uh, I think, four punch range. And we're going to see... Do MSB take that tank in the same area, or do they play a more aggressive? I mean, you know, anytime you're on the you're the second team, you do have the benefit of hindsight. You know exactly where the tank spawns, more or less. They may decide to uh, push this tank. Nice pop. Hunter goes in and oh, that was the tank. <laughs> so to say, second hunter gets skeeted very nicely, and the charger gets melted. Looks like the survivors. No, they're gonna take it back in the same area as Team Keyboard Warriors. Speaking of Keyword Warriors, I believe this is Chaos Tank. It is, and he's going to start moving in up from the top level. Hey, uh, Vanilla, the, uh, the cast HUD isn't working. Okay, cool. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so we have a tank fight here, and anytime there's a hittable in play, you know, it, it can always go, you know, very quickly from, you know, a no-hitter to a wipe, depending on what happens, and... I think you definitely want to use that hit a pool if you can. And I think the player to watch here is Slay with that boomer. If he can land himself a real nice boom here, rocketing off there, that could be huge. Although Nick is looking right where he wants to come from. Oh, and he's going to miss the rocket spawn, but he gets a really close spawn on that band. <laughs> oh, wow. What a, what a pop right there. Wow, that was looking like it was going to be great for a second there. <laughs> There's that moment right where you saw like Slade's boom like about to go out, but they did manage to get the pop in time. However, we're finding ourselves in a really similar situation where the tank's got a smoker, you know, between those bushes. You know, he could get, you know, a sneaky pull into a rock or something. And that means that the survivors probably won't be willing to play this tank aggressive if that is what they were planning. I mean, it looks like Kale's definitely looking to get his hittable in there. We're going to see if he manages to get it in maybe a better spot than Migo managed. But like Alexi mentioned earlier, it's pretty hard to make this hittable work because these guardrails are really oh my goodness it's a decent ish spot we're gonna see maybe he decides to commit and then push them around from the other side no he's, he's gonna get the cop car in now boomer nice two boom that's definitely the commit right there we're gonna see if ko manages to get this hittable in gets the cop car in nice it's in a decent spot between these two survivors smoker gets a pull on rochelle but gets immediately cut by something i'm not sure what the survivors are pushing backwards oh, no, the, cop the closet <gasps> Oh, that charger almost got a nasty charge onto the coach, but he does manage to push into Rochelle. One punch, two punch. He's going to back off right now, and looks like he's going to just rock the rest of this. He's still got 1,600 HP. It's not terrible, and he's got Rochelle in a great spot. Nice pop on that boomer. 
Yeah, that boomer needed to go to Park Boom City right there. But look at that cop car. That cop car has landed in the middle of the bush. I mean, oh my that's... Gosh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I saw what he was trying to do with that cop car. He wanted to, like, back it up and then get it over the guardrail. But instead, it got... It got stuck on that in the middle of that bush, and now the tank is pretty low. And the survivors have, you know, they have good mobility here to kind of avoid that. They can go back and forth yeah. somewhat easily, and the tank doesn't have a lot of health. So this is it's going to be tough to see a wipe here. Jockey is getting some nice damage on the coach, but they do get that clear. Nice last second punch onto Ellis, but that is all the K would manage to get. I mean, pretty decent damage, but like you mentioned, that area is really interesting because as soon as KO hit that cop car up and over to stop them from pushing any further, they just, you know, went back over, you know, to the other side, and then that cop car is basically useless. So I like the way MSB took that tank fight after they got pick up on Rochelle. They just got right out of there. They didn't want him to take any more in caps where KO can just kind of camp them and bleed them out. Yeah, and his initial car, the little red hatchback, I think it went probably further than he was hoping because once it went into that back corner you know the survivors they can then kind of go they then have that little highway area you know a lot more comfortable and which is yeah. exactly where they went charred goes out onto coach but gets immediately cleared the smoker does get a pull onto nick and the clear was a little bit late but not too much damage they still got three extra pills and i think what is it one more at the base of these stairs there's one at the base of the stairs there's one in the gun I thought, I think that's it. But that, gotcha. that charge landed, but the spitter, it went, he aimed just a little too high and it went right through the guardrail. He wasn't able to connect with the spit, which is, you know, they really probably needed that. Yeah, the next hit is ready. We've got a boomer, hunter, jockey, charger. Looks like they're all going to try and hit him once they get in this gun shop. Charger's looking for something now. They're just going to take the choke. Boomer does go in immediately, but gets triple M2 and then popped. Very nicely done. Yeah, it looks like another attack getting set up here on this, on the roof. Um, they're gonna hopefully wait for that last support SI, or maybe it's a quad. How sick would it be if we see a quad during the event? Oh my gosh, there it is. That would be incredible. Yep, the There's quad is a, ready. They've got four guys, so they're. Yeah, maybe they're. It's like they're gonna want to wait till they leave with the SI on the roof like that with that chargers. Definitely. MSB's got to be aware of this as well. I mean, they did throw that boomerang just by itself. And when they've waited this long, you know, you, you kind of got to be aware. Yeah, it, de it definitely makes it. Sorry, didn't mean to cut you off there. Uh, um, but so they're they're going to just kind of stay in there until an attack comes in. We have a hunter spawn and here it comes. And we do have the pull. Oh, and uh, that's yeah. Uh, Hunter gets cleared immediately. The Charger did get some nice punches and a charge onto uh, Coach up there in the front, but not the wipe, which means that we may finally see a team get these, get this Coke up to the... I forgot his name. But, you know, we might actually see a successful event here, and oh my lord, I am lagging. Are you guys getting that too? Uh, I wasn't. I was typing to someone so i was i was shift tab <laughs> i got like a massive lag spike i'm not sure if that's why ryan paused but looks like we're ready hmm well it looks good on my end i'm my ping and my tick rate looks okay not sure why the pause is going out but if, oh, good, my barns still work. Yeah, the survivors have got 400 bonus right now. All right, we're going live. Good, good, good. I mean, they do have potential to take the lead right here if they manage to get those that coke in and manage to make it into the safe room. Looks like they're going to take the rest of this event out here near the cop car. We've already got a boomer trying to spawn, trying to find some sort of spawn maybe up on their left. No, he's going to move behind them, I think. But... Nice two boom going out. Smoker tries to get a pull but doesn't manage to land. Spit goes down onto nothing. Smoker gets picked, and that boomer is still alive, but they do manage to pop it as soon as he starts moving up and over. So, so he's gonna 
Sorry? Sorry. I, oh, yeah, I had the same glitch that Vanilla just had. With the, yeah, do you record a demo real quick for that? What's uh, going on? <laughs> the boomer was like, you see that white van in the semi truck that gets blown up? Mm -hmm. On our screens, the boomer was just like standing there and he just spawned like, out in the open when he was actually behind the wall. I was like, what, the, what is this guy doing? And then he just spawned out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, I like, definitely okay. did not have that glitch. That's really funny. Well, the survivors have actually survived the event, and they're going to keep on moving forward. And luckily for them, this if, if this area is really open. There's not too much for the infected to do. But we're going to see what they managed to put together. They got a Hunter Smoke Spitter Charger. So they're going to take it off onto the right side. Yeah, that right side's a real nice area to go to. It kind of gives you... A... You know, one side they can't really come from too easily. And they are going to take a little charge spit there, but it, they're going to make this, and they're going to make it with okay, but I mean, definitely the best bonus we've seen so far on this particular map. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, this, so, I don't, did you write down the scores of the first game? Do you, does... Does you, do you or anyone in the chat know the exact difference from the first game? Oof, I did not. I, all I know is, you know, the lead was about 400. That's just yeah. an estimation from someone who is very bad at math. <laughs> no, you're right. It was like 400 some points. So we're going to see that cut in half essentially here. So we know finale can be a wash, right? We know that oh, yeah. that can't where both teams just get they wipe second tank but this map here is gonna really probably tell us who's gonna win the game i think i would have to say the same thing unless you know there's like some massive misplay on the finale it's all gonna come down to this one not so much the tank but i think you know the events if we see some horrendous reset charge or something along those lines mm. We're going to see what they managed to put together. The pressure is definitely starting to mount for Keyboard Warriors. As you mentioned, their lead has now basically been cut in half, more or less. They've only got 200 points, you know, that's sort of like between them. And, I mean, we're just going to have to see. Can they secure a wipe here on the away game? I believe the percentage here was 25. Or 27. Yeah. Yeah, it was 20-something like that, so... That's good. They are going to get that set because I think the first two maps it was close enough that you know no one really cared. But this is this is definitely a much different tank fight. So. Yeah. And I mean, again, you know, like if they fight the tank in the same spot, like sure it's tough for the tank, but man, like all it takes is you know like one like multi charger, you know, one hunter stumble, and it could go, you know, it could turn into a... so. We will see. And now so. Man, sad bad is now playing from the front on this game. We didn't set score. They are going to go first, so they will set the tone, and they could really, you know, I think almost, you know, actually, I don't want to say it. <laughs> well, regardless, we do have the first hit ready. It's a boomer hunter, hunter spitter, great old two two as we all know and love. So Nick's going to. You know, go ahead and push out and behind these drawers, trying to block some spawns right there. Boomer's going to spawn behind the pillar. Wow, that's incredible. He does manage to get a single boom onto Alice, but the Hunter gets picked. Boomer lands a nice stumble, but it actually pushes them out of this bit. That's the first hit taken very well. Well-ish, I would say. I mean, Ryan's down, you know, a quarter of his health. And SZ is down, you know, 20 health almost. Details. <laughs> I mean, they're all green, so it, it looks pretty from tab, right? And Absolutely. They're going to this next area, and it looks like they're going to drop in on them as they, as they go down. Uh, if this boomer can, you know, get one or two, maybe, maybe we see something cool here. I personally, yeah, he's going to go for that same sort of info panel spawn, but oh wow, the survivors actually managed to spawn that tank immediately. It's up in the hands of Nock, which, you know, is good and bad for various reasons. It is their best player, as you mentioned, but he also has maybe the worst tank here. It's the hardest one to use, so depending on your perspective, that may be good or bad, depending on what kind of player you are. What I'm interested in is, no, there is no smoker. I really, I feel like the smoker is the only good support you can get here, other than, like, some crazy multi-boom. 
But we're gonna see what man knock can do with this tank. Excuse me. Well, what's important is they have a charge of Jockey Boomer, which is exactly what we had on the on the others. Oh my lord. <laughs> I mean, the the smoker it it can be useful, sure, but you know don't underestimate the power of you know a Jockey Stumble or that is know. true. Like the smoker will help, but it, you know it's only going to affect one player. You know, if they land that jockey, especially if they're all kind of bunched up running around, if that jockey lands, I mean, he could he could cap one and stumble the entire team. But they're going to go two and two on this. A lot of separation, and the jockey's going to go, and there's one punch, and the jockey is now going to get cleared, but it's going to be enough for, for an end cap. And the boomer is still in play, but he's really taking a long time, and I think he's probably... He's probably waited too long to really do anything helpful. Yeah, he is going to get the spawn. Proxy's onto Rochelle. Knox trying to push into Ellis' face, but I don't think he'll be... Oh, no, he does manage to get it. One punch, two punch, three punches. Very nice. This is a ton of damage. Yeah, now we got some spawns coming up, and Rochelle is hoarded. If they land a two cap here, that would be huge. Oh, oh my gosh, this pause. Looks like Where? the tank... Where's this jockey at? Because Coach is about to clear the smoker. I don't know, but I think the tank will be able to get the end cap on Rochelle. I don't think she has her pills ready. And he is like literally mid swing is like his hands right there about to. Yeah, no, Rochelle. Rochelle's going down. If that jockey, I think Coach is mid shot of his first shot. So this jockey is close. Oh, no. It's oh, it's clear. Oh, but now they've got two cappers up. And, oh, he would hit that punch. Where's the hunter at? Oh no, he was so close! Oh, what a heartbreaker. Keyboard Warriors was so close. That strategic pause ruined everything. Not really though. But oh jeez. That was That was really close. That would have been so sick had they got that white. Absolutely, that I think. That's a crazy white. Obviously. Yeah. You go ahead. No, it's all right. Just knock played that. I think super smart. I love the way he blocked that jockey clear and then just got the immediate rock and you know punched him into the wall. Then you know went down below. I think you know ticked all the boxes as smart as you could play that. Yeah, knock's a really strong player, um, especially when it comes to tanks. Yeah, I think if you if you're ever you know in need of someone to play your tank, he's he's definitely on that list of guys you want. He's he's a really a really good player um and it showed you know that was that was huge and you know you look at the survivor's health you know now they're at a point where maybe they don't make this event right it's like one more big attack and you know say they don't find any pills and it's like well hey like now they're gonna wipe and if you're on keyboard warriors it's like hey you don't need to do that much to match that right hmm that was a really big spit charge onto Nick. He's almost down, and I'm not sure. Are there any extra pills in this cabinet here? There we go. One, two. So yeah, I mean they they've got enough health to get through it, but again, they're you know they're one attack away from from losing that. Wow, the Charger just barely manages to get clear before it starts pounding. Although Hunter does land on the coach and he's in a pretty bad spot. Yeah, Spit is going to get some scratches. No death spit, fortunately. Survivors are, you know, just inching away at this event, but it's going to be a tough one now that they've got too slow. But they just might be able to take these escalators before the infected get their spawns back up. Very nicely done. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see I'm, if they're going to what happens here. This could be a big hit. Oh, wow. He got the, the boom on the far guy, but didn't get the close guy. But they do have a, a tri-cap here. Oh, they're going to go early. I thought they might wait until the room. And the jockey's going to go from the old. But, yeah, just nothing nothing going for him. I think that was a scenario where you just kind of pre-spawn in that room. And then, you know, they have to sort of rush into you, right? Yeah, I definitely would have thrown that hidden inside. I mean, even just spawning there and making them hesitate and decide, hey, are we going to wait? Are we going to go in? Yeah, I think it's just a stronger, a stronger position. Boom response from the back. It's a nice last second boom onto Rochelle. Smoker pulls Nick, but gets cleared. A little bit of spit damage going out, but not too much else. The smoker's going to try and get another pull onto Nick. Gets cleared and killed. 
Yeah, so now it's looking like they're they're probably gonna make it. I mean, once they get up this escalator, as we as we saw last time, the common just they don't really know where to go. Mm. They have they have not looked at the mall. See, the mall directory is on the second floor, so they can't get up there to see. You know, the way of course. To bad mall design. So I don't this... go bad for these commons. They don't have Amazon. <laughs> no, right? So let me get these guys prime. <laughs> Well, they do manage to get Nick incapped right there halfway up the escalator. The Boomer does manage to land a two Boomer to Coach and Nick, but they are going to get the pick up here. And unfortunately, these commons literally cannot even look at them. In fact, yeah. the commons are jumping off the second floor <laughs> to go to that spot. <laughs> oh my god, this map. See, they were there for the remodel. They're like, I swear there was an escalator right here. <laughs> Somewhere. I think we got the last hit up for Keyboard Warriors. A Jockey Boomer Spitter Charger. Charge responds, gets shut down immediately. The Jockey goes in and gets picked. I don't think these other two yeah, specials have anywhere to spawn. Spit's gonna go for the Spit Delay. Oh, it doesn't manage to land. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. They do have 110 bonus links to damage bonus. So, not your ideal map for your home server. But again, you know, if if keyboard warriors, if they can just make the map, even if they get zero bonus, they're I'm pretty sure they're still in the lead. Uh, I think that would be correct, because, yeah, there wasn't any health bonus, I believe. Uh, they have like 110. So gotcha. if, they, if they made it, that's 100 points plus the 200 points. So that's three some hundred points. And I think they had a 400 point. So okay. if they can just make the map, you know, even with zero bonus, and then, you know, like we said, that finale, if that finale is a draw, then, they, like, there's there's definitely an avenue for them to win here, whereas... Absolutely. At the beginning of this game, we were like, oh, crap, like, 400 points on your home server win? Like, that's, you're not going to win. But they've been <laughs> able to turn it around, so it's going to be a pretty exciting finish, I think. Absolutely, and I think it's a... You know, the pressure's definitely on SZ right now who's going to get this tank. Nice boomer pop. But, you know, he's going to have to follow Nox's performance. And I feel like, I don't know if that's going to happen again because that was some great tank play by him. And he managed to get a ton of damage. I don't think Keyboard Warriors are going to let the same thing happen to them. However, nice double Hunter's Landing and some spit on both of them. Pretty decent damage, but not as much as the MSP took right there. Yeah, that's a, you know, that's an okay first hit, especially on the away server. And they'll probably... It looks like Ellis is going for that tank spawn. He's going to rush that. Oh, we have a jockey from behind. Oh, and Rochelle's going to get... And not a ton of damage, but you know enough to put you down in the four punch range. Charger does manage to get a punch. And the boomer proxies onto one. The Charger's going to... I mean, the Hunter's going to get a last second scratch onto Ellis. I'm not sure. Did that win? I'm not sure. I was, was I was shift tapping in that on that. <laughs> Look at well, this... He... Uh, this uh, knock in some or looking for some early chip didn't get any, but I kind of like the I like the aggression. Well, while the hits down, you know, there's no reason not to, especially in this area. Like, it's not like the tank is gonna get some crazy rock on you. And we've got hunter, jockey, boomer. Oh boy, these supports. I don't like. Is the smoke respawn blocked here or something? I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't know. It shouldn't be. Um. But Rails is saying 389 was the difference from, uh, from... Gotcha, gotcha. How is Rails awake? Isn't it like 2 a.m. where he is? Because <laughs> Rails is committed and he's got a job to do. <laughs> I like it. The dedication from the TO. Uh, is interesting. Oh no, Mingo's Boomer gets popped, but maybe that was the plan. Yeah, I don't think MSB wants it. He's waiting it out. He is on second pass over, so he's going to have to incap. I mean, he's going to have to commit pretty quickly here. Down to 50, 45, 40. Yeah, they're trying to get some chip on him. I'm not sure if that's wall bangable. All right, here he comes. As he's pushing in. Survivors are all in one area. It's kind of dangerous. They do have a... Um, Migos now got a charger in the wings. Jockey and Hunter are both going in. Hunter manages to land on Rochelle just for a second. He is going to get the punch onto her. The charge is going to try and do some distraction. Does manage to land. And now the tank's going to get maybe a rock and a punch onto him. Gets the rock. Punch into the corner. That's an in-cap. And now he's down to 400, 200, 100 HP, and he's dead. Man, so they... 
The SI played that pretty well. Tank pushed him into all of his spawns. And they were able to get Rochelle, but Slay... Slay tried to make a big play and get out of there, and I think had he just taken the incat or the punches on that bench instead of, like, jumping, it would have probably worked out better for him. Definitely, because now the survivors are separated. Coach gets jockeyed in the back, and the smoker almost gets a pull. So it's a bit of extra damage they may not have had to take if, you know, Rochelle was in cap right there where she first got caught. But regardless, I think what SC... Managed to get two in caps. That's about the same as Noct did. So you know, really well done by him. And they've still got the rest of this map. So hopefully, or you know, maybe not hopefully, depending on who you're rooting for. MSB will be able to put together some really devastating hits in the you know second half of this campaign here. I mean, this round. Yeah, for sure. And this could be if they keep pushing like this with these common trickling from behind and the SI go on this, they could get some good damage. Looks like they want to. The Charger isn't able to spawn just yet, but there they go, landing a nice little two cap. And the Charger, Charger's gonna whiff there, so that's good for Keyboard Warriors. Yeah, a bit of a missed opportunity, as you mentioned. Keyboard Warriors was playing a little bit too aggressively, you know, pushing forward with a lot of comments still chasing them. Actually, they're still out there, but MSB didn't, it wasn't quite able to capitalize on that. But the really dangerous chokes are, you know, up ahead. We're going through one now, and there's going to be a couple later on. We're going to see what MSB manages to put together, and there will be at least one extra set of pills in this cabinet, if I remember correctly. Yes. All right, we've already got a Hunter pre-spawn right outside of these uh, double doors. He's going to scratch one down, get skeeted immediately. Another Hunter goes in, does manage to land onto Nick with Spit, and the Boomer spawns from the back. Gets a nice two boom, a little bit of spit damage on the Nick, but they are going to start pushing on through this event. Yeah, so they're in good shape, and you know, like we said, they just you know just make this map and keep things interesting. You know, the worst thing that could happen is a wipe. Yeah, or some crazy reset charge, but they are going to be able to push up on through. The smoker is just barely going to get to the spawn, but no, not in time. The jockeys also spawn in from the back. Looks like everything else is going to look to spawn up ahead, maybe? Or do they want to hit them on the bridge? No, no, no. Come on, take the room. They're moving real fast. They have a they have a charge spit, so the room up ahead would be the logical area to go, or what you would expect to do. But now they're going to hold up. I like this play. They're going to hold up, and they're going to force the SI. You know, come at us in the open area, and as soon as you do and we shut it down, they get the, they get the alarm, they can kind of keep going. Absolutely. I like how Keyboard Warriors, you know, they're playing pretty aggressively and on their high ping. I don't think that's like what maybe MSB was expecting, but I, you know, you got to admire the way they've taken this event. Everything's going pretty damn well. Jockey's going in, but just kind of like, you know, doing some distraction. The Charger goes out, Spitter's going out. I don't think any of that's going to land. Yeah, no, it doesn't. What a big shutdown there. Because now they, they not only have the room, but now they can get into like that long hallway down below, which is a pretty yeah. strong. And they're really, they're like, what, two attacks away from making safe room. Like that was a really, uh, I don't even want to call it a good bait if they just stood there. But the SI got a little, you know, they, they wanted to go in while the, the horde was still coming. And uh, didn't work out for them. But that, that's oh, a nice try cap. Yeah. Two hunters and a hunt, uh, smoker in the back. Boomer's going to get some distraction right there. It's going to be in the ink cap onto... Uh, it's not going to be the ink cap, my mistake. But yeah, that was massive damage right there. That took their bonus just about around the same as MSB. But like you've been saying, as long as Keyword Warriors, they've got like maybe one more hit or two more hits left to go, and they'll be able to make this safe and preserve their lead. Yeah, that was... I mean, that's like, like 300 points off their bonus, which really... <laughs> really kind of sucks for them but at the same time you know like we said just keep it close right and then finale you just have to tie so i think so right now keyboard warriors they are ahead they're ahead by like 20 points I believe so big two boom and jock he landing onto coach in spit that's clear on that it was a little bit slow the charger did manage to get a stumble but you know just kind of like bits and pieces of this bonus, but just not enough that MSB really wants to try and like make this game, you know, really close it out. 
Spit's gonna go for some delay on that. Rochelle and Ellis are stuck in the back. Spoomer's gonna look for a sneaky spot in that corner, but I'm pretty sure Coach can see that from where he's standing. Yeah, he's trying to look around for somewhere to spawn, but this area is just so bad. Smoker almost gets a cliff on that. And we've now got the Boomer. Yeah, you can't spawn in that safe room, I'm pretty sure. The Charger doesn't really have anywhere left to do, anything left to do. Yeah, and what's interesting is they actually have less bonus than MSB have. And they definitely have more perm health. It just kind of goes to show you the, the power of the hybrid scoring system. Mm. Okay. Right, I can do this. I'm gonna do some math real quick. Yeah, that's definitely on you. I'm not <laughs> get those numbers away from me. So if you add in the the first game, um, and you just add the 389, it's 1725 is what um, keyboard warrior. That's just mm. adding. That's just adding the deficit from, or their score advantage from the first. So as soon as MSB passes that, that uh, seventeen twenty-five number, they will be in the lead. Oh boy! So only, you know, not even two hundred points. From it's gonna be a ZK tank. We're going to see what he manages to put together. The smoker's already free spawn. He tries to grab Ellis, but he ducks into the bathroom immediately and M2s the jockey while he does it. He does get charged, but no pounds, and the jockey does manage to get uh, the jump onto Ellis just for a second, and the boomer gets the proxy. Not a ton of damage. No, I mean, man, at this point, like, this game is it's so close right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's really these tank fights. And, you know, that's really kind of to be expected that the benefit of a Swiss bracket is that as the rounds, you know, we get further into this uh, Swiss stage, the matches will become tighter and tighter as, like, you know, teams of uh, are paired against, like, other teams of approximate skill. So, very entertaining to watch. Yeah, I mean, that's at least the, the general idea behind it. That's what you're hoping for. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't always work out that way, but, you know, when it does, it's nice. And, you know, we have a quad cap going in, but... That would have been pretty silly had they landed a quad in that elevator. It definitely would have been unique. Tails here. Well, the stumbles were kind of there. They did get, I suppose, decent damage. Regardless, we're seeing a repeat here. The survivors are taking this in the exact same spot. Personally, I prefer taking it up ahead in the car, but that's just me. Mazika is going to move on uh, to the opposite side, and we're going to see some good old rock. Yeah, I, I kind of like where they're at. You have the tables to kind of, you know, dodge things. And if you're over in the other area, depending on where you're at, you could have, you know, players rocketing on you from from either side. But whatever you're comfortable with, whatever works best for your team, and whatever gets you through this tank fight. So, as you said, this tank is going to kind of, you know, play this out as, as long as he can. And interestingly enough, MSB was, they were all about the full Uzi life on their away server. But now they've brought in a shotgun for this. Probably feel more confident with that one shotgun player being able to shut down those hits a little more now that the ping isn't going to be like, you know, in uh, handicapping the reaction time. Regardless, the tank is going to go in right now, but he's having a little trouble deciding which survivor he wants to chase. They're cutting him really well. Jockey gets M2'd, but, you know, not shut down. The hunter lands under Rochelle just for a second, but manages to get killed. The jockey does, however, manage to land, and right now, Ellis is all alone kiting this tank, and he does man take a punch to the face for it. The tank's gonna try and walk back around and get out of there, but he's only got 900 HP, so we're gonna see what kind of rocks he manages to get here from the second floor now. Yeah, Rochelle with some really nice movement there. The tank wanted to... I think the tank predicted that Rochelle was going to jump down onto the ground, but instead she just kind of kept jumping on the roofs of those kiosks and went Reloading. to the roof of the big information one, and the tank was just kind of left without a target. And then Ellis, uh, played by Ryan, did a, a really nice job of just kiting that tank and doing a bunch of damage. We do have the next hit going in, and the tank does manage to land a rock on the coach. That's an unfortunate misplay, but it's not going to, you know, extend this fight too much because the tank is on second uh, pass right now. 500 HP left or so. Yeah, I wonder how they're going to want to play this. I mean, you almost might think, you know, hey, just 
get your spawns and save them. Let the tank AI and go. That way you've got, you know, they have a charger. They could play off one of the staircase. But it looks like they're they're going to go try and get another rocket, looks like. And charger. Ooh, need to get that ship level. Well, ZK still got 45 frustration left, so they may still be able to, you know, do that AI tank strategy you were just talking about. But, you know, it's just a question of whether Keyboard Warriors uh, will think of that and choose to go for it. Looks like ZK is really just trying to maximize how much time uh, he wastes from the survivors. I'm not sure why, because I mean, it's not like any of them are bleeding. Yeah, I think he's just he's just buying time for spawns is what he's doing. And they're gonna go for another rock here. This is a it's a tough spot to land rocks though. I mean, they did get the one, but that's kind of not what you expect. And he is gonna finally die. So we're gonna see them go somewhere. I thought they're going third floor. They're gonna go second floor. And they're going to start snagging. Yeah, it looks like MSP really favors this uh, second floor strategy. Just yeah. get those, like, guaranteed six and then, you know, play the rest by ear. Well, and what's interesting is now we've got six on the third floor, and, you know, as opposed to the last game. Mm. I thought we had two, but we didn't. I don't I don't know. Yeah, that was strange. Ralph, the next kick going in. Jockey lands on the Ellis. Nice try cap right now. That's big damage, and none of these clears are going out. Oh, my Rochelle finally manages to kill the charger, pushes the coach, but I mean, that's, oh my goodness, so much damage. That was big. Yeah, Rochelle ended up using all of her ammo, trying to trying to clear something before it landed. It wasn't able to, and there's there's nothing more awkward than having someone <laughs> charge next to you and having to pull out pistols. <laughs> because then you're trying to just kill this charger <laughs> with pistols, and like it's just not dying. And... Yeah, they've taken a bunch of damage now. They've got no cans in, but they're about to get, looks like, four. And assuming things go as... Oh, the next hit goes in. The Hunter does manage to land the Charger Whiffs, and the Smoker doesn't manage to pull anyone, but there is one uh, can that's going to have to respawn now. Let's we'll see if the survivors are going to move on through, pick up some extra pills. They've still got one left at the kiosk. And it looks like they're taking the third floor now. Yeah, there's a lot of cans up there. I may have gone there first. Yeah, and what's also interesting is they've they've got the three pills in hand, and they only have one more set at the kiosk. So this, I mean, we could very well see a wipe here on this tank. And they've only got two cans in, which is scary, because if this tank comes up and that's all they've got, the tank. Oh, and look at the tank spot. Oh my god! The tank is so close. Is he gonna drop it on him? I would definitely. That's Chaos tank, right? Yeah, he's going straight in. Why do these tanks keep spawning right next to the survivor? Gets the immediate punch onto Nick. Nick's trying to. Actually, nice juke right there. Uh, but yeah, Ko doesn't fall for the second time. Three punches. One more should be the in cap. The stick goes down onto Gas Can. Oh, is he on fire? Thermal lights. Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha. But he's what's what's interesting is is he was in that corner for a long time getting that in cap, and no one shot either Gas Can. Like I. You're gonna get that in cap either way. It's almost like why not shoot the can and get some extra damage. This tank is oh, it's not gonna wipe though. Oh wow! Like I, it almost seems like it would have been better had he just played it long. Like he lost. Wow, that's surprising. Yeah, you know the thing is, it looks really good from where he is, but as soon as the survivors drop down and get past that scaffold, it's kind of an open area. So yeah, there wasn't just a whole lot for him to do after he got that first in cap, unfortunately for him and the support. You know, it didn't really get the support that he wanted in that situation. So this should be like, what, four more cans in for uh, MSB. The next hit goes in, the Hunter does manage to land onto Rochelle just for a second, but they do manage to get the clear. Ellis is gonna go ahead and keep on pouring those gas cans. Did, did we ever figure out how much points did they get for these cans? Hang on, let me see this. It's like 50? 50, yeah, 50-ish. Interesting. Rochelle is way out there by herself, and I'm not sure that I like 40, that game. Almost, yeah. almost 40 points a can. Well, uh, gotcha. Rocket boom, no one popping that. And the chart is going to go in for a big spawn and manage to land on the coach. Oh, boy. Yeah, man, this is... So, they're like 250 points ahead right now which isn't a ton but oh man like they they could make this they don't have a lot of bonus but 
Yeah, I mean, what, you know, towards the start of this chapter, you and I were looking at it like, wow, this could definitely be a, you know, they could definitely make this, but right now it's not looking so hot. That's another gas can lost to the spitter, and none of the survivors have an angle on that spitter. Nice two boom going out. They're going to go ahead and drop the second one, but there's a hunter and a smoker spawning up above. The smoker gets the pull on the coach, gets them two'd. Looks like this hunter's going to go for some sort of DP as soon as he starts loading in that can. Maybe not? Hmm. Very nice. Smoker also gets another pull on the coach, but gets cleared. Just five cans left to go, but they're all in, like, maybe the hardest spots to reach. Way up there in the third floor, looks like. I think... I don't remember, but I think those two cans on the second floor... I think the scavenge gets called that, like, hard three or something. I think three cans spawn there in scavenge. Hmm. And that's supposed to be, like, pretty hard cans to get. I think. I'm sure someone will correct me in chat but yeah I mean, they've, they've got a long ways to go and the spitter is still up just hanging out and now that ryan's pretty slow you know uh sz is slow as well. oh what a play there they drop down oh but he... wow ballsy oh, play by sc yeah <laughs> those are those are some balls on him i would not have gone for that when i was that low in such a close game like he really went for it now the smoker's trying to get him to pull but not, doesn't manage to land. Looks like this charge is going to try and get some sort of multi-charge onto Alex. I'm not sure where he's... Where's this guy going? Smoker finally gets the pull onto the Nick. This charge is going to try and hit Rochelle all by herself. And the common in her back just ruined that. Yeah, that's a common problem. And the, spit, the spit's going to delay a little bit. Like, dude, SZ has just gone nuts this last attack or two. Just going down it by himself and... Man, he almost got jockeyed on that second floor, chasing that spitter. That was so scary. Yeah, and look at what he's done. He's gotten them, you know, a good amount of more points. So Here comes another jockey for revenge, scratches him down, and now it's <laughs> camp, and Rochelle is still in camp on the stairs, and it feels like this team, you know, like you said, <laughs> once it gets to a certain point, the team just doesn't even care. They're all just kind of running around doing their own thing. But, I mean, it's not working terribly. They, don't, they only have a few gas cans left to go. Stocky finally gets killed. Wow, incredible boom onto Ellis. I'm very surprised that didn't get a pop. But now it's all down <laughs> to uh, Migo and SZ. I think they're they're going for the pickup on, I um, mean, uh, Migo and Ryan, they're going for the pickup on SZ. And they just might make this. This is incredible. Yeah, that, that can burning, they're, they're probably not going to. <laughs> they really shouldn't make it, honestly. Like, with the fact they've gotten this far has been pretty impressive, and that's going to end it right there, so time to pull out my phone and do some math. Gotcha, gotcha. I mean, that's still really impressive. That last second spin on that can, I think, almost saved it. I think, you know, the the possibility was there that MSU was actually going to make that. But now yeah. I think it's going to be a question of can they kill keyboard warriors before they manage to do the same thing can we have some sort of incredible you know high accuracy rock tank we're gonna see yeah so 1793 is the magic number that will tie the game if keyboard warriors can get to 1793 and let's do a little more math i think that's like 10 cans gotcha it's going to be like 9 or 10 cans, depending on how much distance they get here. Which is doable. I mean, you can definitely get that before second tank. Although, you know, you know it's funny? It's going to be harder because there are more cans on the third floor this time. Exactly. Keyboard Warriors needs to keep that in mind. If I were them, I would go straight for the third floor. We tried so hard to make it fair, and it still <laughs> didn't work out. Uh, cursed by the mighty gods of Valve. <laughs> But we'll see. Either way, this has been a this has ended up being a, a, a really close game, which I think from what I from the people I asked, everyone said this is probably going to be a close game. But man, it went from like, no, it's going to be a blowout. No, it's going to be a blowout the other way. And absolutely. You know, yeah. Now here we are. And, you know, 400 some points is what separates these teams as we go into the last half of the game.
Yeah, I never would have expected this given how that first round went. I mean, it looked like it looked so one sided. But, you know, that's Left 4 Dead for you. And that's, you know, just multiplayer games in general, I suppose. You know, when it's a team game, you feel like almost anything can make or break a team and they can suddenly just recover all their composure and then just start out playing you at every opportunity. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. 1793 will be a tie. 1794 means Keyboard Warriors wins. At least I really hope I have that math right or I'm going to feel really stupid. <laughs> That's that's based off the number Rails gave me. Um, gotcha. Differential. Well, we we definitely know who's gonna whose fault it's gonna be if it doesn't turn out to be the case. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we'll see. So Ryan's gonna play this tank. Uh, we do see four Uzi. Oh, you know what's interesting? So I think in the safe room they have the unsilenced. Yeah. And down here they have the silence. And this is definitely an area you'd want the unsilenced. Absolutely. They do have. Interesting. Two unsilenced and two silenced. It's very interesting. But Jockey does match the line. Oh my god, that last second ski from Kale. I think that very well would have hit him if he hadn't have gotten that. Probably. But, and, uh, well, so someone in chat saying eight cans, which with the distance that they got for getting to where they're at, that's probably it's like 48 points a can. I don't want to do any more math. I'm just going to I'm taking his word for it. I leave those calculations to others. Regardless, <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I think the four SMGs is a really smart play here, given that Keyboard Warriors has got to be aware of like how much you know time that those spitters wasted last round, and I think they definitely plan on like if I were them, I would definitely focus on after this tank. You've got to make sure and try and snipe those spitters before they like you know reset like four cans for you. That would be a terrible situation. Ryan is committing right now, and he's already down to 3,000 HP. That Smoker tried to get a pull for him, but didn't land. He does manage to get one onto Coach right there, and the Charger takes it. That's a big misplay right there. And it, oh, he does get a punch onto Ellis. Two punches onto Ellis. The uh, Jockey match land on the Rochelle just for a second. Three punches onto Ellis. Kale's going to have to grab those pills, maybe. Yeah, he does. Tank goes for a free rock, but misses. And this should be maybe dead tank. No, he managed to get out of there. Yeah, he's going to get out. And again, you know, they don't, they don't need to make uh, to make safe room or make the, the thing they just need enough cans so you know taking a little bit of damage oh they're gonna start moving cans I don't I um, forget how this finale works I don't know at what point you know picking up cans if I remember right it was like you could pick it up like so many times and then it would go but I don't really know but this uh, is in my experience, I think as soon as you, you know, pick one can up, that starts the timer for the second tank. So if Ryan survives long enough, we may very well see two tanks on this finale. Yeah, but if he survives long enough, if, if that's how it works, if he oh. survives that long, then they'll have their cans in. And yeah, Rails makes a good point. There's no spitter right now because tank is in play. So they can, oh grab, they can grab cans, they can throw cans, and it doesn't really matter because nothing is there to take them down. And, the tank can't really commit anyway. He has no health. This is so ballsy. I was about I to like, like I thought like, yeah, I was about to say like, I think this is a terrible idea. Oh my gosh, LSC to rock. But yeah, now that you point that out, no spitter means that you can do whatever you want with these cans, really. Yikes. I mean, I don't, I don't know if it's worth the damage they're taking. It probably would have been better to just, you know, especially with the high ping and horde now. Yeah, but they took two rocks just for those two cans that they got, so I'm not really yeah. sure that it's worth it. Well, yeah, now that they're they're kind of playing it out now, I don't know. Whatever, I like it. I like the aggression. <laughs> <laughs> wow, three rocks! My god, Brian's rock game is so good right now. Yeah. This is honestly incredible. It's good damage, but again, they still, with the pills they have, they have enough health to get enough cans to win. I don't know. I think that tank did a little bit too much damage for Keyboard Warriors. I don't know if that was a really good play, but they were going to get at least three cans in right now. Hey, it was Four. good for it was good for ratings. And the other you're right. The other tank is now up. Now yeah. it's re now it's really bad. Now they may have just. Oh, my God, the double oh, charge. And look at the tanks fall. The tanks right there. No! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, he's gonna get 
yeah, punch on the coach before the pills really managed to kick in. Free rock. Oh my god, incredible. Hits Nick. And he's gonna go on and get out of there. Why? Uh, hello? Maybe not? Okay, Amigo's recommitting. But he's got three SMGs in his face. Gets a punch on the coach. It's gonna turn around. It's gonna start chasing Ellis. No, he goes back on the coach. Oh man, the survivors are so separate. But a hunter manages to land onto Nick. He's gonna go ahead and cover that. Get that rock. Oh no, he fakes him out, hits Ellis instead, and now he pushes into Nick. Really smart play by Migo. That's going to be the end cap onto Nick. Now he's chasing Coach down. One punch, two punches, one more would do it, but he's too far now. He switches back on to Ellis. He dies, but the Smoker manages to get Ellis. That should be the end cap? Yeah, no, the Susie. This is what I'm saying. The Susie doesn't have the accuracy at that range. Oh, dude, they're so close to... I just... Ah, oh, man. I think... That gas can play is what no. is that That's it. MSB wins, I think. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty sure they will. What a game, though. Yeah. You watch this game and go look at the score of the Super Bowl. That's why <laughs> esports, real esports like Left 4 Dead 2, are better than stupid sports. <laughs> you may not like it, but this is what peak athleticism is. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna be like sitting, like I'm gonna be staring at my ceiling when I'm in bed just thinking about that call. I, I really don't agree with that gas can thing. Man. Eh, I mean, you take a chance, you hope it works out. I mean, yeah, I, they, they may have not known. Maybe they didn't know that tank was gonna, you know, come up that fast. Because, I mean, if you think about it, if that tank gets delayed until the other tank dies, then, yeah, they they probably have enough time and enough health to, you know, grab the, the eight or nine cans, whatever it was they needed to win. And, you know, they would have won. It just didn't it didn't work that way. And, you know, I mean, man, that tank even, like, went in and he died. It's like, you know, if one or two SI gets shut down during that tank fight, they can possibly recover from it. But, I mean, it, it was a good game either way. Um, that was probably about as exciting as a home and away game is ever going to be. And uh, yeah, I think we should be happy for that. Absolutely. That was such an exciting match. I enjoyed the hell out of that. Yeah, that went a lot better than I thought. When I, when I found out it was home and away, I was like, oh, geez, what have I, <laughs> what, what have I done? Yeah, we could all hear it <laughs> in your voice. <laughs> but yeah, it went pretty well. Um, Rails has pairings coming up here in a second. Oh, are we going to get an announcement, like, right now? I think so, yeah. Very cool. Uh, once again, now that, you know, game's ended, I'd like to thank Alexi for casting with me, Benil for streaming, Rails for putting this whole thing together. Oh, hey, someone from the game just added me and said, who won? <laughs> they don't even know they won. <laughs> are they I thinking kinda, that... Oh, yeah, I kind of want to... I kind of want to troll him and be like, oh, you guys lost. Sorry, dude. Is it MSB that's asking? Dude, I can't. I don't want to spoil it. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, it is. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, leaked. Confirm leaked. <laughs> that's so funny. They weren't even sure. Did they think that, like, oh, man, they started getting gas cans. Guys, what do we do? <laughs> that's funny. Well, imagine how exciting it must have been for them then that they had, like, yeah. no idea. Like, that just goes to show you how close it was, like. They didn't even know they won. I was about to say, this was like a nail biter just watching it, but playing. Yeah. That's like a whole other sort of factor. It's like just adds a whole other level of pressure where you're just like, you feel like every can that they put, like that they put in, was that the lead? Did we just lose? Did we just lose? Right. That's cool. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that was a fun game to play in. Probably not as much fun if you, if you didn't win, but it was still probably a good time. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I don't know if you want to say anything else or if you want to wait until the thing or... I, uh, I think I've said all I needed to say. I think okay. I've also said all I need to say. All right. Well, if Vanille wants to call it, I guess, it's up to her. Her stream. Yeah, let's call it. Oh, there you go. She said, yeah, let's call it. <laughs> <laughs>
confirm. Um, so with that, I mean, thanks for tuning in to the real Super Bowl of the real, the realest esport of all. Better mm-hmm. than Fortnite. Better than CS:GO. CS:GO. Better than League. Better than League. Oh, so there's the the next pairings. So that'll be cool. Uh, I look forward to playing them. I look forward to watching them. Hopefully I get to cast again. Yeah, check out, if you're in the tournament, check out who you're playing. Get your game scheduled, and if you're playing home and away, ask your opponent, hey, what server are you using for your home (laughs) match? Join the server during the week. Check your pings. Make sure everything is good. That way we don't have any any issues. That's always fun. Um, Be... Be courteous with your scheduling. You know, schedule it a reasonable time. And good luck to everyone. And uh, next week's matches. Uh, Parish is a fun map. Should be, should be some pretty good games. And they're going to be some pretty important games. We're going to see some teams, you know, get knocked out of playoff contention. Because right now, me haul me. We got nine teams that are three and one or better. Right. Oof. So, it looks like. Disabled and might not even play. They're pretty much guaranteed to go. I'm pretty sure they are actually guaranteed to go on. Yeah, and, they're four uh, now. Yeah, now we got. We have seven teams that are three and one. So half of those teams are going to go to four and one, and they'll move. So that's six teams right there. So there's two more playoff spots up for grabs. And there's a lot of teams in contention for them, so it'll be fun. I definitely look forward to it. This tournament has been a blast. Reviving the scene. Cool. Yeah, other than that, I'm good. I'm done. I'm going to go make some nachos and watch <laughs> stupid real sp- But I actually like. Gotcha. Always fun casting with you, Alexi. Always a pleasure. Goodbye. Bye.